Should be live now. All right, Shalom, Shalom. 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 We the brothers here from Great Millstone, mm -hmm. Atlanta. Um, back with another live stream. Before we get started, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, safety, and much love to the elect that scattered around the four corners of the earth, giving all diligence to make the calling of election sure. Um, as you can see, what the title reads, uh, the power is in prophecy. Um, and I was just speaking to the brothers. We was going into um, a lot of uh, situations that's going to transpire here very soon uh, in Babylon the Great, also known as America in modern times, man. Um, and these are prophecies that were written of in the scriptures. And through the spirit, the men of Great Millstone are massively prophesying on the God's trying to prevent these prophecies from happening. So he's trying to make it seem as if there's nothing going on out here. That's right. There's a lot going on out here, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's start out with uh, 1 Peter, uh, so, so like it's 2 Peter 1, and it started at 19. And uh, then from there, y'all brothers just take off, man. Okay. You know, we're going to start in 2 Peter chapter 1 and, uh, and verse 19. I got it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's just like you said, 1 Peter. Uh, let me see, 2 Peter one, chapter 19. 1. Uh, yeah, 19. Huh, I got it. Yep. This is 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. We have also a more more sure word of prophecy. Yeah, so it says we have a more sure word of prophecy. Because I'm going to say this. You do have some people out here that, that are Christians, that are of different denominations, that know it's going to be a, a world war that's going to pop off. They know that the world is going to be destroyed by fire. They know that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. They do know certain prophecies. But our word of prophecy is more sure. We can go in debt with these prophecies. Yeah. Okay, and, and because we can do so, these things are they because we cover more ground through prophesying. Okay, we prophesying about a vast amount of scenarios and situations that's going to take place. We we go into into uh, famine, pestilence, martial law, uh, RFID microchip, World War Three, the economy. Give me some more, I can. Uh, uh, help, help. Health, the concentration camp, the, the, the restoration of the nation of Israel. Salvation. Salvation. We speak about uh, uh, miracles. Chariots. Chariots. Okay? We have a more sure word of prophecy. We go more in depth with the things that's going to transpire. And because we speak these things, they're actually coming into existence. That's where the power is at. Uh, I, I know you was holding one, too. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. Right, this is a quick precept. This is uh, Titus yeah. chapter 1. And three, because you're speaking about how the prophecies come through our, our, our sayings. Mm -hmm. It says, Titus 1 and 3, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, mm -hmm. which is committed unto me according to the commandment of Yahweh, our, uh, our power, our Savior. Yeah, and, and all, all of the brothers that's a part of the elect mm -hmm. are preachers. When you go into the word, the Hebrew word for preacher is qua Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's what it means, preacher. Okay, and did not the Lord say he anointed us to preach good tidings? Mm -hmm. So what are the what are the good tidings? The good news that when, when you go into an evangelist, yeah. what does that mean? A bringer of good news. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we all are evangelists for Yahweh Bashanah was shot, according to the measure. And because we, we evangelizing, these this good news is starting to manifest. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's starting to happen. Just like like I'm gonna quote it again, the scripture say what? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So we speak in life. And because we speak mm -hmm. in life, we see seeing all of these prophecies just picking up the pace, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Every prophecy that's written of in the scriptures, you see in major implications of it right now. Right. You see, you, we speak about race war right <coughs> now. What are we seeing? We see in tension and animosity between uh, blacks and whites. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was uh, I think it was you, I would mention it yesterday. On the group chat, you say he was talking to a lady, and, and, and just a, just a common lady. I don't, I don't know if the brother said she was a Jake. Matter of fact, you can speak on it. But the point I wanted to make was she told the brother that racial the racial tension is so thick that you could cut it with a knife. Man. Yeah, yeah. The lady um, was a young Jake woman, and um, she was just speaking about how she works at Georgia Tech and as a cook, and um, how the students there be calling them nigger workers, but how she. Um, 
basically she's like, I'm not a racist. And I'm like, you know, wrong with being a racist, you know? But <laughs> on a 10 minute ride, I couldn't break down to her right. properly dealing with right, that right, issue. Right. But again, it's not even about that. And that, the times it's coming, you know, Jake is gonna see something that's different than them and they're gonna attack, you know? That's right. Yeah, if I, was, I was gonna say too, before you get your scripture, that's why we know, man, that, that basically the real promise of the Lord are being, are being a, a manifest, man. Yeah. You know, that's what separates Great Millstone folk from all the other camps, man. Mm -hmm. You know, while, you know, here we are prophesying, bringing out, you know, current events, you know, going to the, the you know, the, the deep breakdowns, while the other camps are doing videos of how to, you know, pick your afro and fry, fry <laughs> lamb on the Sabbath. Grow a big beard. Grow a beard and, and, and <laughs> how to shut and job, you know, with the wife and kids and all that. Man, what are we doing videos like that, man? We're supposed to be prophesying the word and how about you all shot? I, I got to right? that. Oh, yeah. The the back of what uh, brother was saying, the elder brother was saying, this is uh, Second Samuel three and one. Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Hey, hey, hey that's that's back when that's happening now, man. You know, a lot of these false camps you fall under, under the house of Saul, man. Right. All right, and the house of David, man. Great millstone is the house of David, right? Right. But. But David went stronger and stronger. Yeah, hey, 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 that, that's what's happening, man. All right, while all you other camps are being exposed, you're falling, you know, you're being exposed for the phony that you are, the house of David is waxing strong and strong, man. And that's I was right. seeing with, um, when Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar ran yeah, into Yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, the spiritual. Yep. Is it on that? Oh, I'll continue on. Yeah, it okay. says, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, you're waxing weaker and weaker. Man. You're being broken down. You're being exposed. You know, don't got spirit. Yeah, because you don't got the spirit of the Lord on you, man. Right. All right. And the Lord is making that making that separation, man, from, between who is his and who's not his. Right? That's right. You know? There's yeah. no gray area. That's right. There's no gray area. Hey, it, it, it's easy. It's being, being made. So are you a first fruit or you're not? You know? Yeah, that's it. Uh, right, right. That's I got it. I got something. Uh, right, uh, this is um, a few verses. I'm gonna read it quick. This is uh, John Saint John four and nineteen, and it says, uh, "The woman said unto him, and the hymn is Yahweh Shai, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship." Yahweh Shai said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, but ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. That's right. And it's all about worshiping Yahweh Bashem Shai in the right spirit. And what spirit has he poured out? Prophecy. Right. He's poured out the spirit of prophecy. So if you if you straining at a net, you know, uh, you you falling out when you you ain't looking at the apostles and elders because you believe that you can teach with your head covered. So now you you, you ain't giving double honors, <laughs> bro. You ain't you you ain't worried about the prophecies. Nope. Right? Okay. You worried about self glorification, your self will, and that's one characteristic. That the Lord said that you are not to have if you desire the office of a bishop. He said you can't be self-willed. And a lot of you guys are being self-willed, and the Lord is looking at that, and he's just utterly just <clears throat> taking everything that he's giving you away. That's right. And he's filling up the body of great millstone with that spirit of prophecy, man. Yeah. And that's gonna that's gonna equate into spiritual powers and miracles, man. You got it, bro. Come, um, and it says, um, but the hour cometh. Um, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in the spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Mm -hmm. The Most High is a spirit. Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Like you said, mm -hmm. you know, these other you got you got camps in Israel, they got certain things right. You know, they know the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Na Nasty Nas and Shy knows that the mark of the beast is the RFID right, chip. Right, right, right. But he's off on everything else. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter, you know? Right. So, you know, you gotta have you gotta have this all. And the only way you're gonna have all the the 100% truth 
as if you're being led by the spirit of Yahweh which is the spirit of prophecy. That's right, brother. And uh, and, and let's go back to that Second Peter one and twenty. We're gonna read all of that through, and then somebody hold for me also Psalms nineteen and seven. Uh, Psalms nineteen and seven. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah, Psalms nineteen and seven. Yeah. All right. This is Second Peter chapter one. I'm gonna reread uh, verse nineteen. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. That's right. So you're supposed to take heed to the sure word of prophecy. Now, out of all of these Israelite camps, who who's out here prophesying day in and day out? You got guys out here that's doing Israelites doing mechanic mechanical videos. You got guys out here doing um uh, uh you know hip hop. Uh, uh, expose your videos yeah. every time you turn around. But who, who really going digging into the prophecies of the scriptures? Right. Going into wedding videos. <laughs> weddings, yeah, you got yeah, you got yeah. the IUIC guys, they do a whole three, four hour weddings and, and take it. And it'd be so whack. <laughs> you know, the wedding just seemed boring. You know, <laughs> playing the violin, look, you know, women up there cutting the rug. Yeah. You know, <laughs> who, but who's really going into these prophecies, man? Right. Who's really going into the, 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 the dark parables and the, and the sayings of right. the Howard Shai? Mm -hmm. So it's saying it, you're supposed to trust that, that word, that light, and, right. and, be light and be led by that light. And I want to get that word sure right here in the Greek. Um, the word there is, uh, let me see. Strong's G, 949. Bebayas. Bebayas. Yeah, it says Bebayas, right? Now it says stable, fast, firm. Okay? Oh, let me, let me see something here. Yeah, Salaki. Salaki. Um, I'm going to go back to that word. I had my volume up. Um, but the definition for the word sure, when the scriptures say we have a more sure word of prophecy, it means stable, fast, firm, trusty. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then I'm going to go down. It says, through the idea of facility, stable, firm, or force, steadfast, sure. Okay? So this is this, this these prophecies that's being pushed out, they're unmovable. And why are they unmovable? Because they're coming to pass. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? They're, they're actually happening. Yeah. So you can't move it. You can't say, hey, well, that, that ain't right. This is coming to pass. That's right. That's right. That's what makes it firm. That's, That's right. what makes it sure. Because they're actually, we speaking about the chariots and then what's happening? Everybody's getting footage of chariots. Right. Right. We're speaking about, we sp <laughs> we're speaking about the race wars uh, back when you Negroes was doing the, the, the 20... The, 20 year mark for the million man march trying to uh, get with, with hand in hand yeah. with the so called white man this is when, when it was cool with Negroes and, and, and Edomites you, you had Edomites at the million man march yeah. you had Barack Obama came in kind of bridged the gap between uh, Esau and Jake mm -hmm. but now you're seeing an all out war between the, the, these people man you know if I could add you know uh, and, and us brothers here you know by no means have we been in the highways and byways 10, 15 years, 20 years, but yeah. just in the short period of us being and in, in hitting these highways and byways in Atlanta, it used to be a time where when we used to go to the camp and we used to speak about, you know, the white man is your enemy, people really used to scoff at us. People yeah. don't scoff at that no right, more. Right, people right. do not scoff at us bringing to the forefront the racial tensions happening in America because it's in your face. Yeah. When Trayvon Martin got shot and we was out in the highways and byways speaking about that, People looked at us like we were the crazy ones. Yep. We're yep. racist. Right. Right. We're right. the haters. We are. We were all those things. But now we live in a system now where you have people b telling you in a conversation with a stranger, "I believe I'm a racist. I can't stand <laughs> white people. White people fucking get on my." This yes. is the tone. This is the tone that's coming from people. And I, I hear that a lot. And, and that now that sentiment is being embraced yeah. by yeah. just a common person common without no yeah. working understanding of the Bible. Yep. Why? Because that's prophecy. That's right. I that's why it's happening like that. It's prophecy. And who's pushing that like that? Mm -hmm. The Israelites, man. Yeah, that's right. More so the men of great yeah, millstone, but we'll, 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 we'll be fair. And, and the yeah. Israelites, they, they push that, man. Yeah, yeah. All right? But, but the men of great millstone, the word of prophecy is more sure. 
Okay? We go in depth with, the, with these things, man. We talk about uh, uh, miracles and wonders and how King uh, 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 High Priest Ariad gonna come. There ain't nobody talking about who, who's uh, the, uh, the the High Priest Joshua and how he gonna come back. That's right. Mm -hmm. Who's speaking about that prophecy That's right. Right. In, in, in Zechariah the third chapter? Who's going into that? Nobody, except for Great Millstone. So the, so the word of prophecy here is more sure. It's more vast. It, it, it's, it covers a lot of prophecies. And all, everything that, that we speak according to the spirit of Yahweh Shah will come to pass. Yeah, you know? Real quick. Oh, 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 real quick. Just let him finish yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just so we can clear that. And then we'll go there. You good, huh? Just finish it off, bro. Come just finish it off in the second Peter chapter 1, verse 19, and the rest of this verse. Unto the day of dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's uh, Yahweh Shah. That day star. Okay, arise in your hearts. Now go ahead, Abba, you got it. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. And it reads... Oh, that's what I had to yeah, they got it. <laughs> it says, uh, so shall my words... Let's go straight to the point. So shall my words be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Mm -hmm. But it shall accomplish that which I please. Mm -hmm. And it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. No, I was there. No break. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I was... The spirit, I'm gonna pull the same scripture, but I go right with uh, Tom Warren was saying, man, how, how, the, how the prophecies are going out, mm -hmm. the prophecies are going out and they're coming to pass, man. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they, they're coming from your Hashem Shem Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. All right, and whatever he uh, proclaimed, all right, the words that are written, like you said, man, they're unmovable, man. It's short. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's forceful. It, it, it's firm. It's firm. It can't be changed or moved or stopped. Mm -hmm. You know, they say in uh, say in uh, Romans three and three, what if some did not believe? Mm -hmm. All right, if, uh, for what if some um, uh, I go? Uh, yeah, what if some did not believe? Will it make the faith of the Most High without effect? Without effect, that's right, man. Mm -hmm. Most High forbid, man. Mm -hmm. So whatever is written is is it's already it's concrete right. and stone, man. Yep. it's yeah. going to come to pass. Yeah, right. I want to add too. Yep, like in this camp alone, uh, I think it was uh, Tuesday night we were talking about. There's certain pestilence going around in Atlanta. Yeah. How this city is just filled up with debauchery and, and yeah. uh, is decaying. Right. And what did the Lord do at 4 14 in the morning? He said a 4.4 earthquake mm -hmm. from, uh, I think the city was called Spring Hill, Tennessee. Yeah. And then you could feel that all the way in Atlanta. So the, what the prophets are speaking are, are coming to pass. Everything that's in scriptures like Luke 21, Matthew 24, yeah. it's all coming to speak through the prophets. That's right, that's right, that's right, man. That's right. Let's get that uh, Psalms 19 and, uh, and 7. This is uh, okay. Psalm 19 and 7. It says, The law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. Go ahead. <clears throat> converting the soul. Uh -huh. The testimony of the Lord is sure. The, the what? The testimony of the Lord is sure. It says, The testimony of the Lord is sure. Somebody give me Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. Let's see what All the right. testimony is. All right, All right bring it out, uh, and then we're going to go back to that. This is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh, go ahead. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh. It said, The testimony of Yahweh Shah, go ahead, is the spirit of prophecy. Woo! It said, It is the spirit of prophecy. That is the testimony. Okay? That these words, to sum up the, the Holy Bible, is a book of prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. From the beginning all the way up until now. What what was one of the most the, 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 the most major things that happened in the in the in the book of Genesis? When the, the twelve sons of Jacob got the uh the prophecies. Mm -hmm. What will befall them in the last times? So even in the book of Genesis, it was prophecies coming about, man. In the beginning. The whole testimony is a testimony of prophecy. Hey, Genesis uh, was at the third chapter. When, yep. the Lord, uh, when the Lord, when Adam and Eve went off. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and the Lord the Lord read, read Adam, Eve, and, and, um, the and the serpent is right. That was yep. prophecy. Hey, yeah. And then, yeah. then in the 15th yeah. verse, he said he's going to put enmity between the serpent and, and Nasi. Mm -hmm. That was a prophecy. That's prophecy. It didn't happen right this. <laughs> That's heavy, man. So it say it say what? It say the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the testimony of prophecy. So when you come out in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're supposed to be prophesying. All right? Hey, I'm going to hit you with this. Exhorting one another is, is prophesying, man. 
because you encouraging the member of the elect to achieve a goal that was prophesied. Mm -hmm. That that go to show you like prophecy sums up every yeah. everything, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and you and, and and whatever gift you have, you you forward your gift through charity. You give it to the body, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, go back to that Psalms 19, and you got you can pull the precept you had on deck. Come, come. It says um, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Yeah, making wise the simple. At one point in time, all of us, we were walking in a simplistic mind frame. We had no idea where we was at. You know, we had lineups, waiting, you know, sleeping, camping outside for Jordans. You know, putting up granulated sugar and cornflakes. <laughs> whole milk. We was all being simple as, as hell, man. You know, but the Lord, through the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, we looking at this whole thing now like, oh, well, we got to get right. What, what we got to do? We, we, we got out of that simplistic state of mind. All right? That right there was a prophecy. Okay? So we are we saying all this to say that the power is in prophecies. All right? When we, we have the power, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to increase on a level, on a higher frequency, where the prophets are going to say things and it's going to actually manifest at that moment, man. Okay? I got one real quick. Okay, come on, then, then you bring yeah. up your... Uh, this is hey, Hosea 6 and 1, and it reads, Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will uh, bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and in the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. So just another prophecy that is being spoken and is coming to life right before our eyes. Yep. Like how you were saying about exhorting and, 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 and going out to the highways and byways, that's actually going into right, binding up the, uh, the, the hurt the, and healing up with spirit, in the yeah, spirit. Absolutely, bro. You know, and bring out what you got and then somebody give me a Revelation 11 and 11. Okay. This is a Psalm chapter 111 and 7. It says the works of the hand Salah, the works of, the, of his hands are, are, are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. Oh, see? They were that word sure again, meaning they firm. Okay? They firm. They, 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 they rooted. Okay? So when that, like the brother brought out earlier, the Lord said every word that he speak will not come back void, man. It will be accomplished. Okay? So the power of these words is when you speak them. Okay? Because you're speaking them into existence. They're actually living. Okay? And you see, hey, that's why you have to be what? You got to be uh, firm when you prophesy. You can't be, you can't be out there, uh, well, I think. Right, right. Let, let, letting people that have zero understanding confound you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being unsure. You know, being unsure. No, this is a sure word of prophecy. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why the Lord say, um, they stood boldly before the face of such that have a foot. What, make, what makes us so bold? To be able to say this. Because we know it's sure. We have faith that these words are, are etched in, in, in stone. Mm -hmm. You know? That's what makes us so bold to speak it. Because we believe it to be true. And they are true. Okay? Esau knows that as a, as a fact. Okay? That's why he's trying to sweep a lot of this chaotic activity up under the rug. You know? He want to make he want to keep people in that docile, that docile mm -hmm. mind frame as if ain't nothing going on out here. Hell is shit going on out here, bro. Yep. They ain't reporting it, you know, because they want to keep you in that real calm, you know, a, a neutered, unworried uh, mind frame, and then they just going to, boom, they going to hit you with it, man. Yeah. They want to yeah. keep everyone dormant. When you're yeah. dormant, yeah. you sleep. Yeah. The scriptures talk about the, the, the masses of people being asleep. Mm -hmm. If you kept someone asleep, that's what Jake like to say, man, I'm going to sneak his ass. You know, yep. I'm going to sneak his ass. Yep. Because he's, he's catching someone asleep. That's your most vulnerable state. That's your most vulnerable state. Mm -hmm. If I may, because uh, uh, Psalm 111 has said um, verity. The word verity means faithfulness mm -hmm. and true. So when, when, the, when we speak these words, be it in the spirit of your help, Hashem, 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 Hashem,
they're gonna come out and they're gonna be and they're gonna manifest themselves. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you and we're gonna see right before. You said the word. Uh, you said it's like uh, verity. It feels like the word uh, verified. Verified. Like it's, it's verified through the spirit. Yeah. Right? You know, you got, you got that spiritual uh, check mark, man. It's verified. Verified channel this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> verified a uh, IG, man. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yeah. 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 You have. You have. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 I want to get y'all my brother one of the pieces. Yeah, well, we look, well, we started uh, at 3, 3, 11, and 3. Yeah, sackcloth. All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 3. And I, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Yep, and those two witnesses represents the northern and the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's those are the two witnesses. Mm -hmm. It ain't. It, it don't, it's not talking about two men. You know, it's it's talking about the uh, the two the two uh, the two um, um, kingdoms of Israel. Right. Okay. Keep going up. It says, uh, and they shall prophesy. Thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Right, and that, that represents a particular number of time frame. I can't remember what it represents, but it says clothed in sackcloth. It's really okay. about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, a, a time bubble, so to speak, now. We in sackcloth, man. Yeah. Yep. We in the state of mourning. Yeah. That's, how, that's how you know who the real prophets are, man. Yeah. Look at Break Millstone and look at compared to the other groups, man. You know, they got the Planet of the Apes, Back, back to the Future garments, kind of looking like, uh, looking like uh, you know, like character in them uh, fighting game, man. Yeah. You know? Gold. Yeah. You know all this stuff stuff on, man? Yeah. You know? It's shining a mile yeah. away, man. It's shining. You know, they are, they're already in their glory, man. Yeah. But it says the prophet, they're going to prophesy in sackcloth, man, because we in the state of mourning, man. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how yeah. Shai, yeah. Yeah. Shai yeah. said that in Matthew, the 11th chapter. He said, those that are in Saul's reign, that are in the king's, uh, yeah. in the king's uh, seat. Yeah. Roughly yeah. paraphrased. Yeah. Yeah. So he said, what came forth for you to see? You know, but they 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 was looking at Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai didn't have on these illustrious garments, man. Right. You know, he came he came in riding on a uh, donkey. But guess what? That they, they couldn't they couldn't do nothing with their prophecies he was speaking. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what he was trying to show them. This was the power, and y'all y'all looking at other shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but they say they can say all this about Great Millstone, but one thing you can't do, you can't stop us from prophesying. That's right. That's right. You can't stop us from prophesying. Okay? Right. Even Yahweh Shah prophesied before he got crucified. Mm -hmm. You couldn't stop him. You beat him. You tried to, to discourage him and say and mock him and give him gall to drink. Yeah. He still prophesied. Mm -hmm. He prophesied that the um it was at Matthew the 24th chapter that the temple was gonna uh which that was a spiritual prophecy anyway, mm -hmm. but they were being carnal that they, they, he was gonna destroy the temple and, and raise it back up. Yep. But what happened? They killed him. And in, in, in the temple in Jerusalem was still ransacked. Yep. So even though they, they, they put hands on him and killed him, it ain't like that just stopped the temple and, and, and Israel being um, ransacked. Yep. It, it happened because it was prophesied. You know? Yes, sir. Bring it out. A few verses. This is a Jeremiah 28 and 5 verse 7. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. Mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Yep, see, so that, that's one aspect of a prophet. When you, when you speak about the, the destiny of a country. Go ahead. And against great kingdoms. And notice the key word in there is against. Okay? Now, we, we prophesying against this, this country of America, mm -hmm. the kingdom of the, uh, of the elite Edomites, because this is their kingdom. Right? This is their rulership. This is their authority. Go ahead. Of war? Of what? Of war? So we prophesy of war. Yep. Now what, what in the hell are you talking about volcanoes? The prophets prophesied of war. When you go back to the times and the destructions of, 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 of uh, certain kingdoms, they, they fell through war. That's right, that's right. They fell through war. You know, damn kingdom was wiped out from volcanoes or, or, or nothing like that. Maybe cities got hit. Right. But a kingdom, a whole rulership was not wiped out by volcanoes. Right. So for you to even try to come with that argument, it shows your lack of understanding in history. Because the prophets prophesied of wars. That's 
Right. All right. So world. So what did they have? What did, what purpose are the missiles for then? Just for display. Mm -hmm. You know. Now you say now you got you guys, which I don't even want to give them no shine. They know who they are. Speaking about that, the instrument in Isaiah the fifty fourth chapter is the the the, uh, the, 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 the Smith is Yahweh shot, and the instrument is uh what was the. Uh, uh, when he come back or something like that. No, but when you read, when you read Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter, it say that when Yahweh shot the son of man came back, he had no instrument in his hand. Cut, Because <laughs> the instrument is the missiles. Because we prophesy of war. That's right. Okay, go ahead, bro. <laughs> and of evil, and of pestilence. Yeah, meaning bad times and disease. All right, the brothers, um, the brother I know I just did a video the other day, great video. Um, going into the HIV epidemic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in Atlanta, Georgia, man. Mm -hmm. All right, 30, over 30,000 people reported have are infected with the AIDS virus, man, which the brother called it grid, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's that's an epidemic, man. Okay, and, and trust and believe, man, the numbers are high. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. That's, that's the thing, too. Like, you mentioned how uh, you saw a goddamn liar and a damn piece of crap. Is that way? A lot of times with the news, man, like you say he sweeping things under the rug, but he be lying about the uh, death toll a lot of times, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only 20 people died. Yeah, he, yeah man, who, who you kidding, man? Right. You know, he always lowering numbers and playing with the stats and yeah, yeah, trying to make it seem like it's not that bad. Yep. Puerto Rico was that hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's all deception tactics. Yeah. Deception, man. If I can add to uh, Brother um, <clears throat> Arathasar's point, just even with uh, Esau playing with numbers, like that. That's really even Esau trying to um, trying to hide and uh, um, minimize the judgment too, because yeah. you know, that's really ju that's judgment going for. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's a good point. Right. See, Esau don't want people to think that 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 the Lord is judging this place, mm -hmm. because when you start seeing like judgment on an astronomical scale, subconsciously everybody, I don't care who it is, subconsciously when you see great judgment, the first thing you begin. To involved in the equation is a higher power. Yeah, Period. Yeah, I, had, I had a lady I, I picked up, and uh, this is when the fire in um, California was was blazing uh, in full effect. And you know, she made a comment to me that basically, she said, "I don't know what those people are doing out there, but they need to get right with God." <laughs> and I'm looking at her like, it "Might be a little too late for that." But right. again, you know, that that you said. Everybody, when, when something bad happens, the term that they'll use is, is a biblical proportion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like you said, when people start seeing things happening on a, on a grand scale, they're going to equate it um, to the Lord, which is scriptural. Yeah. Hosea 5 and 15. And, and because yeah, that's, 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 that's always, that's yeah, that's always been the way that the Heavenly Father showed his power was through judgment. So what Esau does is he tries to minimize <clears> the judgment. Oh, it was only this amount of people. So then people were like, well, you know, this is this was a natural disaster or a freak accident. Right. But when you start seeing certain things that, that's going to be happening mm -hmm. on astronomical uh, uh, levels, the first thing people going to do, like, man, that's, that's the Lord doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Especially with Israelites. Hold on real quick. Let, let me finish this. Because uh, the brother uh, Tazimah made a point, too, kind of going into, uh, you know, false... False prophets, you know, even men in Israel that, that, that stand, so called stand on the name Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, and us, you know, the topic going into the, the powers and the prophecy, really, and even think about it, we're prophesying about salvation too, because when when salvation actually hits, and you know, and and the, the elect's gonna be saved through through who the the elect hundred and forty four thousand men. Then it's going to be shown like those are the men of the Lord. Yep. That's how it's going to you know, know that those men who stood on that prophecy yep. and pushed the prophecy for the same um, amount of time. That showed where the power, the power with them because yep. of the word came through them. And they, because in they, in that in that day, the, the the men of the Lord will be the only ones professing. It. Mm -hmm. They'll be the only ones actually giving a, a clear answer as to what's going on. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is going to be in a, in a state of questioning. But the men of the Lord gonna have all the answers, man. See, what's happening right now is Esau has diminished or tried to diminish the power of a prophet. A prophet back in the day was highly respected. Okay? A, a prophet is the highest seat that you can be in the flesh. Okay? A prophet. Alright? And the prophets, the Lord has raised up 
144,000 prophets. And they're prophesying right now, but nobody wants to listen because they don't understand the power of a prophet. But as we continue to speak these things, and they start to happen on a higher level and a higher frequency, it's going to cause everybody to look at the prophets. What the hell is going on out here? Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? That's why it says that, um, uh, I'll just quote it, I can't get it real quick. In mm -hmm. Ezekiel 33, 33. And, 33, and it says, And then shall it be known that there was a prophet among you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, that whole chapter goes into the Lord uh, sending a sword on the land. Yep. So that, that part of that, that sword is, is the pestilence, mm -hmm. the, uh, martial law, uh, famines, mm -hmm. uh, race wars. All that's part of that sword um, going down to yeah. the nuclear, nuclear destruction. Mm -hmm. yep. But when all that shit happens... That's going to be a proven point to all you people that the prophets of the Lord are right, man. Yep. That's right. That they've been right this whole time. Yeah. That this devil, that the so-called white man is the devil. Yep. Yeah. We prophesy. Look, look at all the stuff we prophesy about the guillotines. Yep. You know, uh, um, you know, like I said, miracles, wonders, pestilences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, signs in the heavens. We got yeah. one coming up. Hey, these Christian churches ain't talking about this uh this uh lunar eclipse coming in January, man. Who's, who's talking about it? Who's, who's prophesying about it and equating it? Exactly. You know, the other caps ain't even going into it. But and you have certain scientists or astronomers and things of that nature that may report it. But who's tying it into the scriptures? That's the thing. That's what makes a man a prophet when you have the testimony of Yahweh Shai and you equate the, the scenery and the uh, events that's happening worldwide in the scriptures. Everybody can't do that. Everybody can't come up with a with a with a conclusion of this all goes back to the scriptures. Only the prophets. And because we have that sure word, the Lord is about to bless the mouths and the hands of the prophets. To where these prophecies gonna start kicking in gear. And we talking about kicking, baby. Alright? We talking about hitting. We talking about quick too. Alright? We talking about these prophecies gonna start hitting. Soon as certain prophets say it, man. Okay? That's what it because that's where the power is at, man. This is the whole testimony of Yahweh Shah that he left. So you already know, as soon as he strike that match, okay, it's gonna be on and popping, man. Okay? Let's finish up. I reread that verse and then read one more. This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries. And against and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's right, go ahead. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, mm -hmm. then shall the prophet be known yep. that the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. hath truly sent him. Who puts all these peace prophecies out here, man? Christianity, Christians. Yep. Really black Christians. T D Jakes. Mm -hmm. um, you got the um, He's just uh, he's pretty he's a bag of bones now, but Eddie Long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Creflo. Creflo, Creflo, Martin Luther King, <coughs> um, all of these big lip civil rights niggas that was that was pushing all that peace, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, pushing hella peace, but it ain't come to pass yet. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's still it's still going down out here, man. It's still going down. Our people are still being targeted. We still on the bottom of the, of the totem pole. There's no peace. Ain't no little white boys and little white girls holding they, holding hands worldwide, man. You just had this little white girl in London that blamed the cake eating on the Negro, man. For real. It, it, ain't, it, it, ain't, it ain't that. Yeah. So the prophet that prophesied peace, when, when it come to pass, we're going to see, okay, who's talking about war and evil and pessimists yeah. and who's talking about peace, mm -hmm. okay? If I can make a quick point, too, um, because even when you go back to Revelation, the 19th <laughs> chapter, it said, we're speaking about the testimony of who? The testify of Yahweh Shah. Yep. Now, if you read that in English, you say, oh, the testimony of Jesus. Jesus ain't the way. <laughs> Yahweh Shah is the way. Because even in uh, the, the, with the meaning of Yahweh Shah's name, what? He saves and he delivers. He's the deliverer. All right? So even having an understanding of that, we're not telling you that, you know, do what you got to do right now and get right with the Lord. And in four years, you're going to be, you know, saved. No, nah, we're telling you that no man knows the time. Of our, our redemption, except for the Most High, That's right. and when the man Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the Judah, the, the the strong man of the tribe of Judah, comes back, that's when Lord will be going to be saved, <laughs> yeah. and that's and that's what we're hanging our hand on because it says the, the prophet that prophesied of peace, 
this is all we're really prophesying to one day live peacefully. All right, but that peace has to come through uh, death and destruction and a, a lot of people getting their heads cracked in, man. That's just the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is when all that, when all the, the skull cracking and uh, internal intestinal bleeding hits the streets of America and then that peace comes, you're going to know who, who sent those men, who, who was sent to save the elect of the nation of Israel, man. That's when you're going to know who, who has the truth, man. The spirit of prophecy, the spirit of Yahweh Shah. That's right, right. Yahweh. You're right, bro. No I, got, I got a precept, two verses, because it goes into prophecy, and it goes into how everybody's going to know that the Lord did this. This yeah. is uh, <clears throat> Ezekiel 39 and 6. It says, I will send fire on Magog, and uh, going into, when you go in geographically, we understand that Magog and Gog, and Meshach and Tubal, is a, is a region of, uh, of Russia. So this is this is a prophecy in Russia. It says, I will send a fire on Magog and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 7. So I will make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. So even to you two-thirds. Yeah. Okay? And I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to uh, mention any names um, of certain camps, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not giving y'all not one second of thing. Yeah, because they on the decline anyway. They yeah. on the decline anyway. That's right. But you know who you are. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One, and Israel. So everybody's going to know the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, because what he said in verse 6, he will send fire on Magog and also this whore that we live in today. Via yeah. what? The nuclear ICBM missiles that his spirit is going to be on, according to Joel, yeah. the second chapter, where it says they're going to break ranks. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And they're going to hit every single target. But that's a prophecy that we, that's an example of a prophecy that we speak daily. Mm -hmm. Daily we speak that the ICBM missiles are going to come to hit America. Yeah. And it's going to happen. You see, everything we're talking about, the ratios. We're talking about the <coughs> pessimists. We see the pessimists going on. We're talking about the earthquakes. We see natural disasters and hurricanes going on. We talk about these things, but we yeah. see them happening. But we talk every single day about the missiles. So what's so more, the missiles coming, yep. okay? It's going to happen. If all these other things that we speak about happen, the That's missiles gonna are definitely going to come happen. And everybody going to know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was the one who did it. Because yep. right. that's what we profess. Right. Hey, get, um, somebody get Psalms 83 and 15. Just to add to that brother's um, Oh, this is, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. This is uh, Psalm chapter uh, 83. This is, uh, this is Psalm chapter 83 and 15. It says, So persecute them with thy, uh, so, like this, so persecute them with thy tempest, Go ahead. and make them afraid with thy storm. Go ahead. Fill their faces with shame uh -huh. that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Then they may do what? Seek thy name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Barashim, Yahweh, Shah. All right, go to the next verse. That's what Come. it's called. It says, verse 17, let them be confounded uh -huh. and troubled forever. Uh -huh. Yeah, let them be put to shame go ahead. and perish. Go ahead. Verse 18, mm -hmm. that men may know. That they may know. Go ahead. That thou. Go ahead. Whose name is Yahweh. Go ahead. And that's in all caps. Yeah, it's saying it, in that scripture, in that verse right there, it says Jehovah. That's right. But it's Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. every like the, what the brother said, when when all when all these things start popping off, they gonna know that it's Yahweh who did it. That's right. It ain't, it ain't gonna be God. Yeah, God doing that. Uh, no, they gonna know it's Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh shot. That's right. He gonna get his point across. Go ahead. That's right. Art the Most High over all the earth. That's right. So he gonna he gonna terrify people. He gonna confound people. He gonna shake a lot of people up. Give me a uh, Psalm sixty five and five. I got a quick. One. I, I had some too. Nah, okay, go, so go ahead. Uh, I got a real quick one. Get uh, into rotation. This is um, Isaiah two and seventeen, and it says, "And the loftiness of men of man shall be bowed down." And the haughtiness of men shall be made low, mm -hmm. and the Lord alone shall be exalted Ooh. in that day. Man, if I'm I may, say, that's true. If I'm I may say, that's true. because you have, you have brought that out, it says the loftiness and the haughtiness. Yeah. Those are both synonyms for the word pride. 
Yep. Understanding when we read Sirach or Ecclesiasticus for 10 chapters, the scriptures clearly say pride is not made for men. Mm -hmm. The only thing, the only entity that should have any ounce of pride is your Howard. Okay? Because he did everything on this earth. So nothing belongs to us, so there is no type of pride that should belong to us. Mm -hmm. So all that's going to be brought down, yep. and everybody's going to recognize, man. Yeah, pride is, is nothing but a spiritual high. That's right, bro. That's all it is. It's something that you can't see. You can't necessarily see it, but it's a, it's a spiritual high. Right. You know? It's, spir it's spiritual boasting. That's what pride is. And the Lord don't deal with that, because pride makes you get in that mind frame where you think you can bump chest with the Lord. That's right. No. That's why the Lord don't like it. And because of the amount of pride that's on the face of the earth, he's going to do what? He's going to show you. You are no match. Mm -hmm. All right? That's why he, what, what is the Lord, who is the Lord using to, to bring out these prophecies? The lowly. Mm -hmm. The meek. The humble. The ones who admit that, that, that they have faults. The ones that admit that they need a savior. That's mm -hmm. what the Lord is using to bring out the prophecies. Right. He ain't using no damn multi-millionaire nigga. <laughs> no, um, yeah. uh, uh, no, no fucking celebrity man. Yeah. You know, so he gonna he gonna do that. He's making he's making his name known clearly through the prophets, man. That's right. Okay, it, it get that Psalm sixty five and five real quick okay. since we on that on that uh, point of Yahweh Bashanah Shai getting his point across. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is Psalm sixty five and five. Go ahead. By terrible things. By what, brother? By terrible things. Go ahead. In righteousness. Uh huh. What thou answer us. That's right. So the Lord gonna answer us. He gonna answer our prayers with terrible things, man. We talking about we talking about catastrophic earthquakes coming to America, man. Okay, don't think that an earthquake is just something that can happen in Nepal. That can <laughs> devastate Nepal or devastate uh, uh, Indonesia or Japan. But it can't it can't really affect America on those on that magnitude. We'll probably just get little tremors. No. It's going to be an earthquake that's going to happen in America that's going to light this motherfucker up, man. We're talking about thousands going to drop, man. Tsunamis. Yeah, let's, let, let's name them, man. Let's name them. Tornadoes, man. Tornadoes. Heat waves. Winter storm. Oh, oh. Yeah. Heat, blizzards. Yeah, heat waves, blizzards. Oh, What's some more, man? Hailstorms. Mm -hmm. Rain. Yep. Yeah, black ice. Yep. Uh, what else going to definitely? We talking about on the catastrophic level. We ain't talking about what happened on the, on the comment. We talking about all these things that you see happening yeah. over in, in the in the eastern Black area. House. It's gonna happen yeah. over here in Must America. Lies. Yeah, must lies. Yeah. Yeah. Big. We gonna we talk about Sinkholes major yeah. terrorist attacks. Mm -hmm. You know, because the last big terrorist attack that really popped off here in America was 9/11. Mm -hmm. right. We talking about major terrorist attacks coming. Uh, what else, man? We talking about uh, a lot of things is coming, man. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, just uh, random deaths too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh, at a situation, you know, somebody I know from the world, his son just died, man. Like, baby, baby son, man. Like, just random deaths. Like, yeah. most I don't, most I can just stop, stop the ticker, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, guy, that's super light work, man. Yeah, like that, the brother Gamal said, an EMP. Yep. EMP. You yeah. know, um, shit, hurricane, we talking about hurricanes, man. We talking about uh, volcano eruptions. Uh, we talking about, uh, uh, man, Leviathan. Yeah. Wild beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's called Sarah from Yellowstone can go off. Yeah, and everything. Yeah. Hawaii yeah. might get sucked yeah. in by a whirlpool. Yeah. 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 Hey, the Lord, the Lord has, because yeah. he said he's going to do a new thing in the earth. The Lord has some very, very special uh, situations for America. You ain't just going to get off the ropes. Oh, you need nah. judgments. Yeah. 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 It's going to be yeah. very yeah. unique. Yeah. Cannibalism. Cannibalism. Oh, you know? Cannibalism is, is something, man. So don't think that these things can't happen over here in America. You see it on yeah. on, uh, 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 on on TV over in Asia and in the Middle East, and you think, oh, that's something that won't happen over here. No, you're just being preserved, my man. Yeah. Everybody gonna get touched. Yep. And hey, the Lord said, read that again. I mean, y'all yeah, brothers grab the precepts. All right, this is Psalm 65 and 5. By terrible things and righteousness wilt thou answer us, O Yahweh, mm -hmm. of our salvation. Go ahead. Who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth. That's right. So we put our confidence in Yahweh Bashanah Shai. You know, we go to the highways and byways and we declare his counsel. Like the scriptures tell you in Acts the 20th chapter, it said we have not shunned to declare the whole counsel unto you, man. Mm -hmm. All right? I mean, we give you, we give you all the prophecies, man. We don't hold nothing back. 
We tell you that the so-called black woman is gonna die in droves. Yeah. We talking about droves. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. All right. A lot of you black women, man, you gonna get touched out here, man. Right. Yeah. You know, we 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 don't hold that back. Mm -hmm. We tell you babies gonna die. You know, we tell you that that men are gonna die. We tell you that 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 you Edomite is going into slavery. Old people. Yeah, mm -hmm. old, people. old people. Old people. Perish. You know, we tell you we tell you of of, of, of all of these things, man. Mm -hmm. Get your head cracked. We talking about women, women, we, we speak about women being raped by these uh, nasty demons out here, man. Yeah. They gonna be raping you women while, all out in the street, man. Men we, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, yeah, men be gonna be getting raped. They gonna be popping the, man. It's just off, man. Scripture's just not playing when yeah. the Lord said it. Yeah, man. Uh, in 2 Peter, the second chapter about brute beasts, man. When, yeah, man. Nine, when 911 is no longer a thing, and these resources and these buildings are, are these uh, the ability to go into a Kroger and go get some supplies goes away. Mm -hmm. The ability to go down the street and go get a bottle of water. Yep. Little things that you take for granted is going to bring out the beastliness yep. of these people. These people are beasts. That's right. Huh? They're already eating. This devil already has our people eating human flesh. It yeah. was McDonald's. Mm -hmm. He has us. He has our people. Uh, he has chemicals in the air, chemicals in the food, chemicals in the water. Yep. Everything is already created, you beastly people. The so vibrations. The diverse. vibration. Yep. Everything yep. Everything is set for you people so that when all hell breaks loose, you're going to be, a, you're, going, you're not going to be any different than hyenas, yeah. baboons, That's right. wild dogs, monsters. monkeys, <laughs> snakes. You're going to, it's going to be like being in a jungle. Yep. If I may say, because we're speaking about that. At camp last week, we were talking about the word primitive. When you go into the word primitive, it means not secondary. It means original. So you're going to go back to your original state. The original state was not digital. The original yep. state was not paying cash and credit card. Right. Mm -hmm. The original state was going to make your own fire, mm -hmm. hunt your own beasts, mm -hmm. do everything uh, of the natural sense. Yeah, you're going to go back to a natural sense. Even in 2nd Ezra, it talks about you should not regard... And the kings of prince, mm -hmm. and, you, and yeah. it says the men shall go in and bathe in one another. I, I, I got that right here. If I can bring it up, they yeah, go ahead. I mean, yeah. it's up to y'all, boys. No, man, y'all got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> this is Second Ezra fifteen and sixteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "For there shall be sedition among men mm -hmm. and invading well, so one another." That word "sedition" means a rebellious uh, to be rebellious of uh, of authority. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he's that, like you said, the par the, the Paris race riots. Mm -hmm. They're rebelling against authority soon to come to America. If I can add to your point, mm -hmm. even uh, when Brother Cross Cross speaking about authority, if you go into, add to his point, going to the word sedition, it goes into policy too. Mm -hmm. And who enforces the policy of the authorities? The police. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So even even uh, that, if you go and you know, build on that, you can be fighting the police out here, man. It's going to be no, it's going to be no, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, well, hey, well, hey, the brother can speak on it. You know what I mean? We all were affected by it, but I mean, it's not. It may not be national news, but like we're reading the scripture of sedition, and, and a few hours ago, a cop got shot a few streets over from us. Yeah, right, right now where we sit. Like where we are we right now, away. a few exits away. Uh, well, yeah, one, one exit, exit away, literally one, one exit, exit away. away. It was a, um, a DeKalb County cop got shot, and they sent they sent the whole force over there, shut <laughs> down the highway. So imagine, yep. like you said, in that day when everybody takes away they, that piece of them, that that. That what's the word? That humanistic, humanistic side of yeah. it, of respect of another human being, goes yeah. out the window. The, uh, the, the American reasoning. The American reasoning goes out the window. So imagine if all of this shit happens, and people are here that are watching, uh, that are familiar with the Atlanta, mm -hmm. all of I twenty east west shut down. Yep. Two eighty five north south shut down. Yep. The side road shut down for one cop being shot. Yeah. Imagine if it's just the the, the the chaos breaks out where. It's a school wound war with, against the cops. Yeah, yeah. Imagine what it's gonna be like in these streets, man. It's, it's gonna, say, be, it's gonna be cold blood. Because even uh, even that, men men in this camp in Atlanta have been saying that for years yeah. that the cops gonna get go out to deal with the people out here, yeah, man. Right, right. And even that's gonna have uh, the, the 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 next step would be what the 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 bringing in of the National Guard. Yeah. National Guard, we got the National Guard coming to try to maintain the order in these cities and maintain the policies of these cities. Yep. It's gonna be, and you gotta have World War Three. You gotta yeah. have troops being sent over there 
Now yeah. regard, they really don't want to see them and all over the place. But that's why they're going to get tired. Yeah. You in truce. You and then you in truce. They're going to have to get four truce to come over here. See, it's just a, it's a continuation of prophecy. It's just one layer of prophecy stacking on another, that's on right. another, on yeah. another. But the thing yeah. about it is, it's only a certain number of men and a certain number of people who can see it. Through right. Because they, we have the spirit of prophecy and truth working with this man through the spirit right. given to us by uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm gonna say something real quick. See that? See who's who's speaking about this stuff? Man? The men of Great Millstone. Okay. All right, we just went into all kind of just different situations that's happening, and, and, and right now, you know, like like the brother just said, a guy, a cop, just got popped around the corner, and, and by the way, that's the trenches over there too. Mm -hmm. So he saw know these he saw know these areas that's uh, infested with crime, man. You know, he gonna come down hard on those areas, man. And a lot of areas that's infested with crime, guess what, man? They they near a highway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Majority of the the hood areas and the, the, the uh, you know the areas where Jake is doing a lot of uh, mm -hmm. you know madness, they right by a highway. This mm -hmm. what it is right off the exit, man. Yeah, like MLK right over twenty. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's, right, it's right. It's right off the exit. Did that, if you ride if you ride through the city of Atlanta, going from east to west, pretty much. From the east side to the west side, every exit is like the hood. Yes. Mm, every much. exit. You know, from the east side all the way through the city. Yeah, good work. Camden, Gresham, Greenwood. Yeah. Flat shows, Flat then you shows, get on the west Jones. side, then all of those exits right there is the yeah. hood. Windsor, you know. East Street. Yeah, yeah. You got MLK, you got the Church. whole Joseph E. Lowry. All of those exits. Churches, all right? of those exits right off the main artery in the city. Yeah. Is, is areas where predominantly hard-headed ass Jakes live at. And that why is that? Because Esau is setting it up to where it's gonna be easy infiltration, man. He's not Esau is gonna make this thing as easy as he can for himself, man. It's not gonna make it hard. You know? Right, so he's so he's doing what is he doing? He's he's bleeding everybody into these little compacted areas. It's a okay. strategy. A simple strategy of bleeding people into a concentrated area. So when the, uh, the the attack comes, it's just easy. You just round them up right off the exit. You go to the next exit. Boom. All that's right. A, hey, that's the spirit. You use uh, concentrated because concentrated goes into the word focus. Yep. So he concentrates everybody into one specific area so he can focus on a, a one specific area instead of a, a vast vicinity or, uh, or a big ass area. Yep. And so he can uh, he can uh, control things in an easier, uh, timely manner. Yeah, because it's all it's all about time and strategy with Esau. Esau understand those two things to a T. Timing and strategy. <laughs> that's, why, that's why the scripture says he knows, but he has yet a short time. Okay. He and he he tries to master those things, time and strategy. Okay, and that's what he does. What's that saying? Well, I've heard in movies or song. Um, what, um, don't run down to catch one, one cow, but let's walk down and catch them all. Mm -hmm. So Esau is going, is he, he's going, he's strategically lining this up. So in his proud, proud devil like mind, he can just with one quick sweep yeah. implement his new world order. But we're here to tell him through the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah, he's going to run into a lot of issues. When you make that first move, yeah. complications. it's going to be, he's going to see the complications. It's gonna be complications that he he couldn't he couldn't perceive in his in his egghead think tanks. Yeah, you know, he saw as, as big yeah. on information. So yeah. it's 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 a big egghead devil that sits behind a computer and calculates. Well, we do this. Nah, you can't calculate the spirit. Nah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Hey, and you know what? Too just to add to your point. So you Edomites, you Edomites, the elite understand this, but you common Edomites, you don't understand that there were always stipulations when you came down on the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. You could go down on Ammon and, and, and over in the Middle East, you're going down on Elam and, and, uh, and, uh, and Ishmael, and you just su succeeding. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a flawless mission. Mm -hmm. No casualties, <laughs> everybody came out. <laughs> bro, every time you came down on Jake, you ran into a problem, yeah, bro. Right. Every time. But the elite understand this. That's why he's setting up new layers of crash test dummies. You got you got all these different layers of reinforcement because the elite understand that there was never just an easy operation when it came to the Israelites. The seminal, the seminal of um, the seminal wars. Yep. That the, this that example going back a couple hundred years ago, 
the, the amount of trouble that the, that the, that, that the, uh, the United States government had just dealing with the tribe of Reuben in Florida, man. Yeah. It cost them millions of dollars back uh -oh. then with just that war. They was known that the, the word Seminole means runaway. That's right. They, could, they couldn't do nothing with the tribe of Reuben, man. So yeah. what those Reubenites and those Gadites, whom the only reason you, you, you was even able to uh, overcome them was because it was it probably had to be fulfilled. Imagine them same Reubenites and them same Gadites that's in the spirit of the Lord right now. You're in trouble. You ain't, you ain't getting no double take, nigga. You had your chance. Prophecy was fulfilled. Now those same spirits that you was jacking up back then, they right back here right now. And guess what? This time you gon' you gonna really see what 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 you what you want to poke at, man. All right, you want to poke? Let's play. Yeah. That's what that's what the Lord is dealing with you, Edomites. And we saying all this because we tying it into prophecy, man. You know, the prophecy is those those hundred and forty four thousand super super soldiers are gonna rise up on your ass, man, mm -hmm. through the spirit. I say one quick thing, real quick. Because even with the tribe of Reuben, Reuben never uh, never uh, surrendered. That's right. yep. So you have you have Esau. There's one tribe on this continent, so to speak. They didn't even surrender. Yeah. The Esau didn't even fully, fully uh, uh, annihilate or defeat. Mm, yep. But now you got, not only do you have all twelve tribes here, all twelve tribes. Yep. You got the the, the prophets and the men of the Lord and the spirit of prophecy arising in through those men. Esau has no chance. Yep. That's why the elite don't even live in America. Yeah, they don't even touch. He was like, man. bro, hell no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like, let's travel. Yep. We like, like I ain't even fucked. Yeah, we, we ain't going over there. They ain't, ain't coming over there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got this, it up. This is going on to uh, Esau's uh, plans. All right. So this is a, a, a Ecclesiastes, it's a Sirach 34 and 2. It says, Whoso regard the dreams is like him that catcheth the shadow and followeth after the wind. Now, the brother uh, Alvin just said, Who can, he can't determine. And plan for the spirit. Okay, the spirit is like the wind. You can't follow. You can't follow it. It goes south. That's when you know it's going west. That's yep. when you know it's going east. It's the same thing. I was going to be in the, the minute of the Lord. Now I wanted to bring this out because the specific word dreams. When you look into the word dreams and get the etymology of the word dreams, it means a delusion, a deception. Okay, and a deviation. Okay, so your plans are a dream. You're dreaming, yeah. Esau. Yeah. Your plans are, you're, you're deceiving yourself. Yep. Because that's what the word dream means. Mm -hmm. Because you can't, it says right there, can you catch a shadow? It says, can you follow after the wind? And what the scripture speak about, the shadow of Egypt? That's right. Mm -hmm. and, can you, and, it, and it speaks about the spirit being as the wind. That's why we prophesy to the wind. Yep. Because you can't follow it, man. Yeah. You can't determine the next direction where the spirit is going to go. Yep. Just mm -hmm. like the prime example is right now. Yeah. In this yeah. live stream, the spirit yeah. jumps on him, to me, to this one. It's too that strong. One, to that one, to that See, you don't know who's going to jump. You're right. This, the, spirit, the spirit of the Lord is, a, is too high of a frequency for you to control. That's right. The frequency of prophecy is so high that it can only be controlled by Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that can direct prophecy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nobody else can control that vibration. That's right. You can control hurts, mega hurts. You know, you can control all of these other different vibrations, but when it base and, 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 and uh, just different um, uh, measurements of, of, of uh, vibrations, but you can't control the vibration of prophecy. It's on a higher frequency. Only Yahweh Shah can, can, can control that and direct that spirit, man. Yeah, frequency from another dimension. Yeah, because yep, th that's exactly where it's being channeled from. That's why we speak it with power, you know? Cause it's, it's being, it's, it's being, it's, it's from a whole nother dimension, you know. So that's the power of it. The power of prophecy is that it, it, it's going to come to pass, whether you like it or not. That's where the power is at. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna read something okay. real quick, and then you got. It. This is First Corinthians two and four. It says, "And my, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words." Of man's wisdom, <laughs> but in demonstration of the spirit on, and the power. Come on. Man. Okay? Mm. So we speak not according to the wisdom of America or the wisdom, the common understanding of America. We speak and demonstrate the spirit of power. So this is a whole nother vibration. This That's is right. a whole nother layer right. of, of frequency that was never able to be grasped 
in the physical realm. Because it did, it's not generated from the physical realm. Because when Esau made a move against the, the tribes of Israel, the Most High had withdrawn his spirit from this place. Yep. He, that's the only reason Esau had, was able to do the things he was able to do. Because that frequency of prophecy, the Most High turned his back on us. Yep. That's the only reason Esau was able to make the motions and, and gain the pride that he was able to. Yep. Which even that spirit was still from on high. It was, it, the, the Lord said that he set up the, the, uh, through uh, riches gained by deceit. The, 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 the kingdom is translated from one the kingdom, to another, the kingdom to another. That's the only reason you got it, Esau. Yep. All right, but, but again, prophecy is telling you that your time's up too. Yeah. Oh That's it's prophecy. Like, bro, who? This is cold. Bro. Like, think about, just think about how much power a prophet had. Nobody could tell them anything really? except how about Shemal Shah. You can tell a prophet, I'm going to kill you. And that prophet is still going to be like, whether you kill me or not. The will of Yahweh by Shema will be yeah, done. That's right. And if only if he wants me to die, will I die? Come on, man. Yeah, what can you do with a man like that? <laughs> what can you do with him? The only thing you can do is be like, the, the smartest thing that you elite can really do is stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. That's right. Stop. Give it up. Come out. Say what happened. Say what went down. <laughs> but you've gotten so deep Conceived. into it that you can't do it. And that's prophecy. Yeah, it's like, uh, Bernie, <laughs> you know, uh, Bernie Madoff was back in the news. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you look into his story, when he was running that billion-dollar uh, Ponzi, Ponzi scheme, scheme yeah. when he got caught, he basically was kind of happy he got caught because he was like, man, I, he didn't know how he could keep that lie going for so long. So he was happy he got caught. Yep. And that's the same thing with Esau on a high level. If one devil was waiting to be caught because he was running this lie for so long that it's just like, I can't stop this lie. It's got too yep. much momentum. You read them like you got way too much momentum to stop this bullshit. Yeah. And, and that's how you know that, hey, to the elite, we understand that you know the prophecies. Mm -hmm. we, we get it. You're preparing for the prophecies to be fulfilled. <laughs> Duh. You got bunkers. What you got bunkers for? The preparation right. Yeah, yeah. The preparation yeah every, everything you're, you're, you're doing, you know, all of you elite, and you just comment everybody, whether you're two third or one third, 144,000. Everybody right now is fulfilling prophecy. Man. That's right, that's right. Everybody now. Yeah, whether you're born in vain. Yep. Prophecy. It's prophecy. So that's where the power is at. That's right. The power is when you actually see the prophecies for what they are and you and you confirm it through your words. Hey, that's when the Lord protects you. Adam Abbott is fulfilling prophecy. Yep. yep. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's fulfilling prophecy. Second Timothy, all right, that um, evil men shall wax worse. Uh, they shall not endure sound doctrine. He's yeah. fulfilling prophecy as we speak. Yeah. So right. us seeing Israelite men going to slap off, that that's 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 yeah, that's, prophecy. that's prophecy. That's right. You know. But I got people saying that uh, you do nothing against the truth before the truth. So everybody plays a plays a role, man. Whether you two third nigga, you know. Nah. You are your, your uh, off ass camp, part of an off ass camp. You playing right into the, the role of your house. Why you have a shot? Set you up to play, man. I got I got a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 24 and 7, because we talked about, we brought out um, the testimony of the Most High is, is prophecy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to see where the prophecy, where he laid the prophecy on. Okay, it says uh, Sirach 24 and 7, but all these I sought rest, and in whose inheritance shall I abide? Verse 8, so the creator of all things mm -hmm. gave me a commandment that, uh, and he that made me caused me, caused my uh, tabernacle to rest mm -hmm. and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob and thy inheritance in Israel. Verse 9, he created me from the beginning before the world and I should never, I should never fail. So the prophecy is where everything lies, like the brother said earlier, is in the Israelites. Yeah. And it shall never, he Ooh. said, I shall never fail. These prophecies shall never fail, man. They shall yep. never falter, but only yep. come to pass. And only that, like you said, only that spirit of prophecy is, is in the Israelites, man. That's right. You know, even though the, the heathen, they, they may acknowledge the prophecies, that spirit of it is only generating and flowing through the Israelites. Get that, matter of fact, get that in Psalm 78. I'll show it because we already established that the testimony is sure. 
The testimony is prophecy. So let's see who got the testimony. Where is the testimony at right now? Go ahead. Al. It is Psalms chapter 78, verse 5. Uh -huh. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Boom. That's where the prophecy is. In Jacob. Read it again, bro. Come. This is Psalm 78 and 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Yep, and that testimony is the spirit of prophecy. You know? So that's how you know that we got to be the, of the seed of Jacob. Because we are the only ones who's prophesying on a on a crazy level. Mm -hmm. Nobody's prophesying on a, on, a, on a high frequency like this. Everybody in these uh, uh, gatherings, vocab Malone and Christianity, they speak in prosperity. Yeah. They speaking of, 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 of American wisdom. They encouraging their congregation to go to school. If I may they celebrating say. Halloween and Christmas. If I may say, because that's the spirit you said, you mentioned those other people, okay? Uh, vocabulary moon and all these, you know, those other people. Because the scripture is saying, I want to say Revelation the 21st chapter, that the tabernacle of the Most High dwelleth in men. Mm. Okay? Now, if you're not coming in the correct doctrine, you're you're preaching an effeminate word. Man. Yep. All right? You're preaching an effeminate word. So, the, the prophecy dwells in the men who, yep. pro who prophesy. The yep. men who gird up their loins and prophesy. Yep. Okay, like you you're, say, you're you, weak if you ain't doing if you yeah. ain't following this doctrine. Yeah, you trimming yeah. your way. Right. And regardless of you know if you telling <laughs> the people you are Israelite or not, if you ain't speaking the whole council, you trimming your way for for some reason. Right. And usually it's for you trying to gain followers, subscribers, yeah, yeah. women. You trying not to be persecuted hard when that time comes. Yeah. Or you don't want to. It's something behind you being scared, yeah. or or you you have an ulterior motive. You trimming your way. To seek love from somebody, man. Yeah, okay? So that, that goes to show you that if you ain't really establishing a true testimony of Yahweh Shai, then you ain't you ain't in the right spirit. And the Lord is showing, like, lately, especially, like, I give it, like, maybe these past three to four months, where you have, you know, Sakari tapped out mm -hmm. with the Israelite wars ceremony. You know? Then you had, uh, who else was in, in uh, the... the uh, the flavor of the week. Oh, Shy and Tried. Yeah, Shy and mm -hmm. Tried. You had Shakya was getting, uh, uh, going, you know, yeah. be, proving himself uh, not to um, have the, the correct uh, counsel. Um, Dudes in uh, Baltimore right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you got the Israelite branch. And then you got Ad Adam Abbott. Abbott yeah. um, it was somebody else, too, that, that, um, that uh, Greg Millstone. Like no, nah, there was Israelites. Oh, okay. But the point, the point that I'm trying to make is, you know, the Lord is just going through every church, through every person that's declaring they're Israelite, and he's saying, like, bro, no, no. And, and, and essentially, Great Millstone, you know, are the ones that's, you know, pretty much meeting the criteria. IUIC, right now, IUIC is on the hot seat right now, man. And that seat is going to get hotter and hotter, man. Yeah, right. And what's going to be the downfall of IUIC is going to cut you got all the women up in there, man. Yeah. <laughs> them women about to start bringing out some information because a lot of them men scared, man. <laughs> women get emotional. They spill the beans, man. You got this, this, yeah, you, you got this lady that used to be married to an IUIC member. She just raised up over $1,800 on a GoFundMe. Because her marriage didn't go right. They get ready to come at you, IUIC dudes, man. Because you ain't following the spirit, man. You ain't following the spirit. You've compromised the name. You've compromised the doctrine. That's right. You 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 created a uh, a business. IUIC is a business. It's a, it's a, it's a brand. It's a brand. Corporation. Yeah. It's a brand. yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And because you've done so, yeah. and you've compromised yeah. the way of Yahweh yeah. Shema was shot, mm -hmm. he's about to expose that whole thing. And every little whatever, every little... Inkling of light that you had, the Lord gonna give it to the men of Great Millstone, man. Right. He gonna take it from you, man. And he gonna give, he gonna give that gift to to the men of uh the, of the of sincere uh, uh spirit, man. Right. You know, so that testimony is in Jacob, and even within Jacob, that testimony is in the elect. Hey, can I can I can I make a quick point? To, Absolutely. To the, to the commenter in the uh, comment section of the video, uh, YR, it says, uh, I don't want to play Russian roulette with videos on YouTube. If you point me in the right direction, that's all I'm asking. You have a curriculum. See, again, if you listen to the video, what we're saying right now, we're speaking the spirit blow up with the wind. There is, this isn't some Edomite, the Cab County school system 
class setting where, you know, the first year you're going to go through this. No, it's the spirit. And the spirit has us speaking on what we're speaking on right now. Right. So if you if your followers, if, if the scriptures give you the directions on how to follow men. If you if you want to learn, the scriptures say if you if you if you want to learn, was that a Sirach? If you want to yeah. learn, be a hearer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's plenty of scriptures that tell you that. So, yo, just chill. You know, keep you know, relax. Get your pen and pad and listen to the teacher. All right, whatever the teacher teaches, that's what you learn. You don't you don't ever dictate what a teacher teaches. Right, right. You never go into college and say, Absolutely. listen, I just want to no. What you what the teacher going to tell you? Matter of fact, if you not to be long with it, but um, I was watching the other day in um Transformers. Which Transformers was that when um he went to the school? You know what I'm talking about when he went to school? Yeah. And he started seeing all those things, and the teacher was like, this is my zone. And he kicked him out of the... Out of the oh, with Shiloh. With Shiloh. I think yeah. it was the first, it might have been the first one. It might have been the second one, I think. First, first or the second. It was the second one, I believe. Well, he was in college? He was in college. Okay, it was the second one. And remember, the professor told him, hey, man, this is my zone. So yeah. whatever the, 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 the spirit jumped on the bishop right here, and he wanted to go into prophecy, this is what it is. Yeah, if, yeah. if anybody got a problem with how the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shot flow, we don't go to Apostle Tahar and say, hey, we might suggest, or mm -hmm. if you have some time, right. Apostle, right. could you go into this? Right. But whatever the spirit hit Apostle, That's right. Apostle Ramla, when he does this video, yep. whatever the daily edification that comes from Apostle Gabar, yep. that's what we eat. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's heavy because I told this particular individual last yesterday on the stream that, that, we, um, that we did yesterday, I, I gave you the steps of what you need to do. All right, then we don't have an open door policy over here. You, the scriptures tell you, that you gotta uh, try the spirits to see if they are of the spirit, man. All right, so this ain't just no you come register and you come sign up. No, you first of all, we we haven't really necessarily been seeing you a lot on our live streams. All right, this is maybe the second time I've seen you. So you going from you ain't say Shalom on here or nothing. You just like how do I join? Yeah, just jump like, come on, man, give a little diligence in your uh in your attendance. Okay, if, we, if you see me live, you know they show consistency on the streams. Okay. Where do you live at? Study. Where do you live at? Yeah, you know, you go to the page. Go the page, the content is empty. You got no subscribers. So it's like, look, man, okay? Stop stop trying to treat everything in the way that Esau treats his society, man. We, we move in a different uh, way. The brother's telling you, hey, just build up. Watch the videos. You know, go from level go from level to level. Faith to faith, man. We all had to start at, at one particular point in time, man. Everybody that's in this room... The first thing that they did was start watching the videos. Yeah, God. All of them. Everybody. <laughs> even me. Watch them all. Then from that point, what do we do? The spirit hit you and like, get your ass out there. See, you know what? With that spirit, that 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 spirit, for you to make a comment, hey, and I don't know you, so this is nothing personal, but for you to make a comment, I don't want to play Russian roulette. You come in the same spirit as this Adam Abbott spirit that's out here in Israel. You just wanna, you just wanna eat what you wanna eat, mm -hmm. and you wanna fast track it to the yeah. top, man. That's eat, it eat. Hey, if, 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 if somebody puts bitter herbs on your plate, eat the bitter herbs. Yeah, exactly. If somebody's just giving you milk, drink the milk. That's right. If yes. they tell you, hey, I, you know what? This is the strong wheat you're going to eat. Eat what they give you. But you don't get no choice in it. That, that spirit of, well, I just want to get what I want to get when I want to get it. That's, that's how you get the Adam Abbots. That's how you get those the, all these other niggas in Israel. Because they're impatient and they want to eat when they want to eat. All right? They want to fill their belly so they can see um, on a high level, man. Eat it all. Yeah. If, you know, if, your, mama, if your mama in the world put, put on your plate all, all the food, she's going to say, eat, eat, that, eat. That's it. I, yeah. yeah. And, that's, and that's that. You know, and uh, like I said, you know, the brother, the spirit jumped on the brother because I, I actually was seeing the comments or whatnot, but I was like, you know, I'm just keep going. But look, man, hey, man, get in the right spirit, man. Just watch the videos. Add, add scriptures, add, you know, add to the lesson, man. That's all you have to do. Just yeah. add to the lesson, you know. Don't get on the comment board. Every, now everybody is everybody is adding precepts. They adding information. They adding words. And you the only one on there trying to be seen, man. Come on, man. Okay? We prophesying. We bringing out the spirit. Okay? You know, eventually, trust me, man. Hey, if, or, no, trust me. Trust the spirit. Eventually, right. if you show the dedication, mm -hmm. you show the... The effort, the Lord is going to give you the inspiration to find us, man. Yeah, right. Okay? It, it is done, to, it's, it's the same process, man. The Lord is going to give you the inspiration to find to find where you need to go. But it's a way you got to climb the ladder. Hey, Kyle, bro, I know, hey, man, it's all good. Hey, hey like you say, you just hungry. Hey, uh, hey, bro, remember, patience yourself when you eat. 
Yeah. You know, don't you, you know eat. You wow. know, a map back and go real quick. I, I got some. Bring that. If somebody hold me Hebrews twelve and one. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Is, and like I said, this isn't this isn't nothing personal because it's it's just a spirit of. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and we we all yeah. gotta go through the same. It was no choice in what we ate in this. Whatever the apostles and elders and the men that have been laboring, see the spirit pulled them to do. Yeah, that's, right. that's what we gotta listen to. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. That's now how, that's how it was before. Uh, you know, wait till uh, or wait like Sunday. Oh man. Or from the drop that that sit down. You got to just yeah. soak in whatever they brought out. Whatever yeah. it was. You, know? you ain't gonna be in the apostle hard comment section. What's what's the, the uh what's the title for the new year? I'm hungry. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the new year title is. Your ass is out. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is uh, uh, Sirach 5. No, Salaki. This is Sirach 6 and 33. Now listen closely. It says, If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow, bow, bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. That's so right. at the end of the day, when you're new to this, you have to be in the spirit of humbling down and whatever the teacher teaches you, learn. That's it. It's not a matter of going to the, well, I, now I want to learn this right now. No, I want to learn whatever you teach me because you're the wise man. <laughs> I'm not the wise man. You're the wise man. So whatever wisdom you have, please share with me. That's what I'm going to do. with that. Proverbs 1 5. A wise yeah. man will hear and will increase learning. Hey, that's, oh. that's, that's, the, that's the step. Does not the scripture say faith come by what? I can hearing, hear. hearing, hearing right. man. That's right. Faith come by hearing. Just, just, hey, listen. You know, right. give an ear to what's going on. Remember, the spirit of the Lord is vast. You have a lot to soak in, brother. You got more to soak in than you have to say. Well, so, so I see you, you made a comment. And hey, look, like I said, it ain't nothing personal. Well, this is this is how we get down. We Israelites, man. You know, we we uh, we want to see you know brothers that's hungry. For your how about Shemel Shad to come up the right way? So we gotta put it out there like that, but we ain't gonna put it out there like Miss Mary Poppins, man. Right. Okay? Now I'm gonna say this. You for you to make the statement and say you ready to teach. Come on, you gotta be more ready to hear right. than to speak. You see? There's a lot of information, there's a lot of breakdowns, there's a lot of words, it's a lot of etiquette. Take your time. You know, to, to that you gotta soak in as a as an Israelite, remember, you foreign to the whole way of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. All of us were at one point in time, so it took a particular amount of time for the Lord to even build us up, to even hold posts at camp. That's Either you can, you got two options. Either you can follow what, the lead that we're fo the, the, the follow the example that we're following, which is the way of the apostles and elders. Yep. Or you could be another Adam Abbott. You could be a hot sensation for the moment. Yep. Until the spirit decides to zoom in on you and show how weak you are when it comes to this. And we don't want that. that, that that's, that's, that's wasted. That's, it's prophecy, but it's a yep. waste. And we don't want that for, 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 for men that's coming up. We want you to build properly. That's so right. one day you can go from being a another fellow student mm -hmm. to an actual teacher. That's, right. that's the spirit because the scriptures say the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Uh -huh. We're trying to get as many Sincere, because yep. of what uh, John the Baptist said, bringing them meekful repentance. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get sincere labor. Yeah, we're trying because to get right. Hard work to do, bro. Uh, you yeah. know the 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 uh, the taza the taza doc, yeah. I you. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. righteous yeah, labors. Yeah, right. You know, so that that's what we're looking for. So just know that there is a way to to come up in this thing, man. Don't don't yeah. force the course. Uh, uh, of how things is going, just play your part. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna hit you with this. Hey, if we we might not have a lot of time left as far as the formal camp setting goes, so you might you if you show your diligence on the comment board, add to the spirit. The Lord can have mercy on with you on that. Yeah. But if this is reflective of how you would even come down to the camp, this is you at, at camp on the comment yeah. board. That's right. This is this is exactly how you would be. But go ahead, you got yeah, this somebody is, hold that Hebrews twelve. This is uh, Sirach. Um, in the Apocrypha, Sirach 8 and 8. And it reads, uh, Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. Mm -hmm. For of them thou shalt learn instructions and how to serve great men with ease. That's right. You know, they say how to learn how, learn how to serve great, great men with ease. So, 
like you said, it's a way to come up. And you know, you just left a comment. You said in, a, in another live, you said not to be in the cheerleader spirit. And said right. not to be a comment board Israelite. And this is not for brothers that's just, I'm, I'm not saying that to brothers that's just waking up to the truth. Right, right, right. Okay, right. this is for men that, that's been on comment boards for years and right hadn't right. stepped out there. Mm -hmm. Okay? But for brothers that's just coming in, if I could clear it up, for brothers that's just coming into the understanding of Yahweh Bashim I was shot and just trying to figure out the way to do this thing, this is the this is um entry level uh this is entry level. Right. You gotta come in this this type of way. Now you shouldn't be on no comment board for two or three years and you ain't put a put forth an effort. Right. But it, hey bro, if you hungry and you trying, start out like this. You know in the spirit, you ain't trying to be no cheerleader. And you ain't trying to be no uh, common board Israelite, so you just work your way up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get that uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. And then we're going to go back into uh, the lesson. All right, this is uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Right, right. So why are? Check this out, brother. Go ahead. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Go ahead. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Let us do what, brother? Mm. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hey, brother, give, yes, give a little patience. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit, yes, becoming patient. Okay? Endure endure this, this aspect of the ministry, man, because when you come into this level, you might think you're ready to teach, but you got to understand what comes with teaching. Okay? It's, it's, it's not just about teaching. It's demons that come with it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, a, it's a level. It's a level. And us brothers up here, man, we, we be in the spirit like, damn, man. Hey, man, we just got to keep going, man. You have you have all kind of things that be coming at you, and you still got to keep rolling with it, man. So just build yourself up to that point to where when, when certain things start coming your way, you rooted enough to, to endure, to go through it. Because eventually what happens is Jake come up that ladder too fast and then they start catching that hell yeah. and the first thing they start doing is they start questioning the doctrine. Yep. They start getting offended yeah. because they, they don't want to catch their hell. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But wherever you live at, wherever you live at in, in this day and age, there should be some camp near you. Mm -hmm. So yeah. whether it's an hour away, two hours away, your first step should be if you so, um, if you if, if you if the spirit is pulling you to teach, is to right. get with men that's been teaching. Yeah. Okay, it shouldn't be in the spirit of well, I want to teach, so I go out again. That's that Adam Abbott spirit. Mm -hmm. That's that. That's that. Plenty. Uh, it's plenty of men we yeah, can name yeah, yeah. that just don't, they just want to skip the training process. They want to skip the, the sit down and watch the video. You know, when you yeah. get a job, when you first start any new job, what do they do? Orientation. Orientation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down. <laughs> don't even worry about being on the floor. Sit yeah, here. Yeah. Watch this video. Sit. You got some questions. I'll be back. Yeah. You don't get on, you don't start no job on the first day and you right. run in the store. What if, yeah. Yeah, the first day you just got hired. Here's your yeah. key. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know where the key go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes somebody that's been doing it mm -hmm. to show you this is where this goes. This yep. is where that goes. This is how you do. And you follow that. So if you live somewhere where there's, right. there's men teaching, go where they at. Yeah. Don't be in, we ain't in that time. That's another thing. It's that that spirit of, you know, I'm just gonna make my own way. That's not according to the scriptures. The scriptures say two is better than one, man. That's right. Woe right. unto you that are that is alone. Uh -huh. right. 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 And this yeah. time we need we hell, we've been laboring. Uh -huh. These brothers have been laboring this brother ten years. Yeah. I ain't trying to leave them. <laughs> right. And, and we don't and, and we, I know they ain't trying to leave either. Yeah, and we don't and we don't want the, the brothers that come up under us, we don't want them brothers to leave. Right. Excuse me, say what? We believe in the saving of the souls. Yeah. So with that sentiment being echoed and pushed within this particular body. We all are, are making sure we exhorting each other. We coming up the right way, so this this body can be sealed, sealed, man. That's right. You know, we trying to get the souls in that Yahweh Shah desires, so we can get out. Oh, so right. we have to make sure that we all, if, if you're in a position of leadership, you're gonna be held to the criteria of leading. If you coming in up under the leadership, we trying our best to make sure you are coming up in the right spirit, right. so you can stay. So we are not just gonna come in that whole lollipop. Come one, come all, spirit, man. Right. You know, no, it's, it's it's a way to do it, brother. It's a way to do it, and and, and, and that's the way that's going to be stamped. Right. No, nobody's going to come and switch that up because the apostles and elders set the path through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. 
So we go on the path, everybody that else going to go the same path. For them, you know? Now let's finish that, finish that Hebrews 12 and then, you know, y'all brothers got it. Let's talk, let's talk again. Uh, yeah. All right, this is Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, mm -hmm. let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Go ahead. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Go ahead. Verse 2. Looking to looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Remember, Yahweh Shai is the beginning and he's the he's the end. He's the, 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 the author and the finisher. Okay? Of our faith. So there's a particular way that Yahweh Bashim Shai told us to go. Okay? That straight gate. Okay? So if you see that way, you have to follow that way. If you don't, let's say you don't recognize that way. Okay, and what you're supposed to go. You got men that's over you in the spirit that can show you the way. Right. If you if you just it's so it's, it makes it easier when you have a, 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 a men that's over you in the spirit. You all you gotta do is just move how they move. <laughs> that's it. It just makes it easy. Okay. And then in return, they the men that's over you and leading you, they can't be like, yeah, they doing this, this, this. They gotta show you with delicate, with be real delicate with you and be like, no, bro, just do it this way, bro. You know, so it'll just be a good flowing spirit, man. Okay, but you you come in that spirit. I want to teach. Next thing you know, you're trying to teach over elders in the camp. Yeah. You 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 ain't got no precepts. You don't know precepts. You fell in hella tests. <laughs> you know. Hey, let me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Don't be in it. <laughs> you may not know. You may not know who that is. <laughs> right, right, right. All right. You may not know. All right, yeah. we we know who that is. Yeah, he he know where he is. Yeah, he a drive vessel, man. But don't be that. It was a guy that came up to us, That's true. and he he was he just was hot. He he just yeah. wanted to teach. Yep, right. And he was so hot, he was so fiery, and trying to just be so 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 forward with his approach that the Lord put the spirit on on a brother to get fiery on his ass, man. Yeah, yeah. So you got you got to be careful, man. That's right. You know, you got to be careful because the Lord can reciprocate the same spirit. You know, he he can use he can use any any individual. I don't want to say who did it because that's it's the it's spirit. Right. It yeah, was the spirit right. who did. Right. You know, the spirit know how to reciprocate the same energy that you bring. So right. come the right way. That's all you got to do. Come right. up the right way, man. Because it's it's a lot of things that can beset you, that can throw you off. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be hella hurdles, man. You got to know mm -hmm. how to. You got to bury Sanders this truth, man. Okay. You gotta be like Barry Sanders in, 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 in the in the truth, man. You gotta know how to move. You gotta you gotta have spiritual agility, man. You gotta be versatile. You gotta you gotta know when it's time to exercise patience. You gotta know when it's time to exercise faith. You gotta know when it's time to exercise brother's love and kindness. You gotta know when it's time to exercise charity. When it's time to exercise all of these different varieties of the of the fruits of the spirit. You gotta know when to when to incorporate different ones. So it's a particular a uh, process that you gotta embrace, man. Right. You know, yeah. so th yeah, brothers, yeah, your brothers got it. We'll we'll close out. And we'll go ahead, uh, yeah. you. Uh, this is uh, this is going into what the brothers who said, what the brother was just saying. This is First Corinthians fourteen and forty. It says, "Let all things be done decently and in order." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, going into yeah, what the yeah, brother yeah. was saying, like you know, there's a process, man. You know, uh, when, when you know when all the brothers here, man, when they first when they first got into the camp, they started off watching videos and. You know, I can personally testify, I watched videos for a while, you know, before I even came out to the camps. You know, I I, I would comment every once in a while, but at most of the time I was just soaking it up, you know. And then finally I went out to the camp, you know, and then it's a certain type of posture you got to even take when you at the camp. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, when you when you come mm -hmm. in, when you, when, you, when, when you present yourself to the altar, you know, you got to be like a newborn baby, man. Like, you don't know nothing. So you got to even have a certain type of posture when you come into the camp. Yeah. You know? That's right. Yeah, because even, even when you come to the camp, brothers is just watching you. You know, you see you see there, you know, got your Bible in your hand, brother. You know, it's a brother, but, you know, brothers is watching you, man. You know, because people say, bring forth a fruit and need for repentance. So we got to check brothers out, man. Make sure mm -hmm. you get brother, uh, you know, get something makes you need. Yeah, you're solid. Yeah, yeah you're solid yeah. on the doctrine. Yeah. You know, cause Jake, Jake could come in, Jake could come in like, uh, yeah, man, you know, I, I watched Great Millstone, then six months later, yeah, so what y'all think about the chip? 
Right. <laughs> bro, you, you just out here snuck in, man. Right. The whole time you just sitting, you on the side, not not fully believing, yeah. man. We we can't have all that, man. So if you ain't fully convinced that the positive elders are great millstone of those men, don't don't come around, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't even come around, man. Save yourself some time, cause you gonna get you gonna get got on, man. That's right. You know, so yeah, man. Um, Hashtag don't be in it. Yeah, man. Let's, 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 yeah, man. Let's, let's, don't be in it. That's funny, man. Right, just, you know, but for the sake of the lesson, man, just, just come back in what we were, what we were uh, talking about in the, in the live stream, the testimony of prophecy. Come back, come back and listen to the prophecy that that through the, uh, through the spirit that we preach. And with that, this is a Psalm chapter one nineteen and one twenty nine, and I'm gonna read verse uh, one thirty as well. It says, thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore doth my soul keep them. One, uh, verse 130, it says, the entrance of my of thy words giveth light and giveth understanding unto the simple. That's right. You know, and, uh, and like I spoke on earlier, at one point in time, we were all simple, you know, but the testimonies and the light, you know, has made us wise. It's given us the, the understanding to ponder the path of our feet. You know, so now we have direction, we have vision. It's not the scripture say where there is no vision, the people fail. Mm -hmm. So through that light, we can see. Okay? And a lot of you guys, you, you, you try to come around Great Millstone to steal the light, you know, but you don't want to come up under the full bondage of your Howard Shot. You don't want to come up under this thing like that, man. You want to have, you want to you be able to, you know, you know, like, like you want to be able to do what you can do in America, but then when, when, when the heat turn up, you like, you... I've been over here the whole time. Know the hell you ain't. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what Jake tried to do. They want to they still mm -hmm. fuck around in the ATL yeah. or, or fuck around in the world, and they want to have the truth in their back pocket. But then when when, when all hell break loose, they're going to try to appear as, you know, I've been doing this the whole No, yeah. you ain't, man. I'm using the truck as like a trump card. Right. I'm using the truth as like a trump card. Right. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. break a little you know, oh, emergency case and pull the garment in the Bible out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I had it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Out here trying to do miracles, <laughs> can't do it. Oh, this combination That's of the same smile, yeah. man. Don't yeah. be in it. That, should, <laughs> that might be the name of a video. Man. Yeah, he, yeah, that dude is dry as hell, man. I, I looked him up today. That's spiritual. Oh, man. I went, I went on his page today, through, you know. <laughs> but, uh, let, let, let's, let's keep going. Out there. We're, we're going to close it out on, uh, on Ecclesiastes 24, man, because... You can bring out Ecclesiastes. Give me Ecclesiastes 24. We're going to start at 25 and we're going to go all the way to, we're going to close it out on that, man. Okay, I Because the, the premise of this whole topic and, and, and uh, lesson was the, the powers in prophecy. And right now, the Lord is pouring out the spirit of prophecy unto those that's in this spirit. Okay? So a lot, of, a lot of guys are being revealed that they don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is breaking down these different other uh, camps, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And he's building up those ones that, that's really embracing the true bondage and the true servitude of Yahweh Shai, man. Being a true minister. That's what it's about, man. Okay? You got some brothers that's been in the camp for five, six, seven years, and they don't even teach like that. But you got Jake that want to just come around and just be an all-star, man. Mm -hmm. Bro, chill, bro. It's about being a servant, man. Whether, you, whether you've been on the highways and byways for six years and all you, you want to do is, is edit videos and upload and do the camera, you're still a servant, you know? <laughs> whether you be, whether you, your gift is just to be to heal the brothers in the camp, make ointments and, and, and uh, different teachers, okay? you still serving the body. You got to just be, come as a servant, yeah. man. If, if just I, come as a servant. If I may say, before we get to the Sirach 24, like mm -hmm. you said, just become a servant and a minister. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm loosely paraphrasing, but in the Gospels, it talks about one that gives water to a prophet should receive the reward of the prophet. Yeah, right, yeah. He simply just gave water to a prophet. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. that simple mm -hmm. will get you salvation, man. So That's what it's about. Just, mm -hmm. just be simplistic yeah. and do what you got to do. If, if, whether your lot be to be a, a eight time preacher or just to hold the song. It's, it's all the same thing. We're all going to receive the same penny at the end of the day. 
All right. So whatever lot you come in, just follow it and accept it and do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. Can I read this real quick if you don't mind? Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Uh, this is First Peter five and five. And it reads, likewise ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Right. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Just wanted to throw that out there. Uh-huh. And I, I'm going to address one thing real quick that I see on the comment board uh, from Aiden, Yahweh ben Israel. Yeah. Uh, he put 1 Corinthians 13, 9, uh, uh, verse 9 through 12 For we know in part and we prophesy in part But when that which is Which is perfect is come Which who is that which is perfect Yahweh Shai okay? When Yahweh Shai comes It says what It says then that which is in part Shall be done away Because he's going to reveal certain things Unto us when he comes back That wasn't written Understand that Everything that's written it's expected for you to understand 100%. That's what doctrine comes in at, uh, my brother. Uh, I know you, you mentioned you was with HOI, um, but you better make sure that that doctrine is pure. Because right. the Lord ain't giving no excuses of, oh, well, you know, you know I'm part and prophesy I'm part. Listen, the part that you're supposed to know and you were given to know, you're supposed to know that 100%. And Yahweh Shai is expecting you to know it 100% because he laid his life down for it. That's why he said, if I shall not depart, a comforter shall not come. Mm -hmm. So because he laid his life down and he sacrificed his life, these words are expected for you to understand 100%. So if you, if, it, if it's a lot of madness going on over there and you sticking around for whatever reason, you still, you can't use that 1 Corinthians 13, brother. Okay? That's not an excuse to, to teach whatever you think your heart is right. telling you to teach. Because right. the part that you're supposed to know, the Lord expects you to know it 100%. That's why we say here at Great Millstone, we have 100% truth. Because the part that was given unto us, we know it 100%. Okay? So I just wanted to address that point real quick. We're going to start putting the ball in, 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 in people's court, man. Okay? We can't say we was rude, we was disrespectful. Just giving you food for thought, man. Okay? So let's get that Ecclesiastes uh, 25, um, uh, 24, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up on that, bro. Yeah. God, this is a rock chapter. Ecclesiastes or a rock chapter 24, verse 20, 25. Oh, uh, yeah. God, mm -hmm. It says, He filleth all things with wisdom as as uh, Python and as Tigris and the time of of the new uh, fruits. Yeah, and, and he, the scripture said the Lord fill up all things with wisdom. So you can learn from everything. Mm -hmm. You can learn from a midget. You know? That's right. If, if you're spiritual enough. That's right. So, so like I said, you know, there's really no reason for you not to understand the, the writings of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have men that's laboring every single day. Like, it was one point in time the, the, uh, the captain mm -hmm. Abu Baja here, uh, he was doing two, two, three videos a day. And that was because the spirit was on him. But that's because he's he's serving. So it's, it's out here. Yeah. Okay? The breakdowns is out here. The, the wisdom is out here. Health. You know, uh, exhortation. You know, like this brother, this brother right here, he he uh, do comforting, real comforting videos. Okay? So it's com comforting <laughs> of Judah. Yep. You know? So the, the word is out here. So there's no excuses. Okay, go ahead, bro. Con. It says, uh, verse 26, he made the understanding to abound like the uh, like Euphrates. To abound. Mm -hmm. Okay? So understand what it means when they say we know in part and we prophesy in part. Okay? He didn't write, he didn't have men write these scriptures down so you don't know them. Yeah. What kind of sense did that make? Right. The scriptures say the Lord is under author of confusion. Mm -hmm. You have an to know all things. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why when you read Revelation, the 12th chapter, Dan is not written in there. Why is it not written in there? Because he don't expect us to know that. Okay? That's why it's not written. The things that are written were what? Written a four time for our learning. Mm -hmm. So if it's written, it's expected for you to understand it. That's the curriculum. Okay? That's not a cop out to be like, hey, well, we teach this and y'all teach that. 
And we all know in part and prophesy in part. Yeah. That's not what that scripture is talking yeah. about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I may say, that's why we got the book of Revelation, the 10th chapter, the fourth word, the fourth mm -hmm. verse where it says, the things that the, the seven thunders uttered, write them not. Mm -hmm. So those yep. are, that's the one of the parts that we're going to get when you have a shot coming back. The, yeah. the, exactly. Yeah. Because we're the women, we're, we're known as the, the bridegrooms or the uh, the brides of of Yahweh Shai. That's right. And scriptures tell you, matter of fact, in Micah, hey, Micah. Micah the seventh chapter, I the fifth verse, it tells yeah. you uh, yeah. basically not to oh, keep thy mouth shut to the to her that lay in thy right. bosom. Right. So again, that same spirit that we apply to our, to to our physical women. Yeah. It's the same spirit that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai applies to us being spiritual women. Right. He don't tell us anything. What we know is what we need to wake up the 144,000 and the elect to get the hell up out of here. That's all we need. Like you said, those seven thunders, that'll be revealed when it's in time. But yeah. knowing, knowing how to break down Genesis, the 49th chapter, knowing how to break down the 12 tribes, the, the mark of the beast is the chip. Yeah, that's we supposed to know that. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, we, that's what this whole yeah, lesson yeah. was about. About being but the word is powerful. It's powerful. Time because in. we gotta, we have to proclaim all these things. How can we proclaim if we don't know? Yeah. How you proclaim something that you? That's, yeah, that's an oxymoron. Right. We got, we got st it's stuff in the scriptures where if somebody would have asked us, um, what does that mean? We we would be then we would be able to say, well, hey, brother, we know in part and we prophesy in part. But it's a scripture clearly on it. Come on, man. Okay? Yeah. So understand the Lord said he will make this to abound like the Euphrates. It's an immense amount of information out here that, that can be soaked in. But a lot of dudes just got a problem with great millstone. And it's, it's, a, it's a personal thing. It's an individual thing, man. You know? Go ahead, brother. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Come on, brother. Verse 26. He marked... Um, that's right. He marked the understanding... Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 24 and 26. He made it the understanding to abound like the Euphrates, and as a Jordan in the time of the, of the harvest. Go ahead. Verse 27. He made the doctrine and the knowledge appear as the light. As the what? As the light. And you can see light, man. I'm sitting in the inside of the house right now. I can see porch lights outside. You see? So that, that goes to show you that it's visible. Okay? Yeah. The light of your how about Shemel Shah is visible. A lot of you dudes, you're just not looking. You love darkness. Yep. You just like how you maybe maybe you just like how Nate teach. You like you like the theatrics. Yeah. You know you like how the garment looks. Shakes, you like Shakespearean uh, accent. Yeah. You, you know you just like the whole theatrics of the Israelites. But when it come down to the no. doctrine, uh, we that we know in part we prophesy in part right, about right. that. That's not that's not gonna be a cop out, man. You know. And like I said, it ain't nothing personal. You know, it be the spirit. The spirit speaking expressly, man. And we say this out of love, man. Okay, just to put it out there. Okay. Now, however you take it, or however brothers take it, that's personal. Because we've already declared it's not a personal thing, but it's going to be done right, man. It's time to, <coughs> to put all your emotions to the side and think about your how shy for once in a while, man, and how he wants it done, man. Okay. He's the one that laid his life down on the line to be that sacrifice. So put him in 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 the uh, in the forefront, man. Mm -hmm. right. So however you receive it, let it be personal, man. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, you know, not don't let it be personal, but it's just business, man. Right. But Yahweh Shah will be declared and he will be put first in the matter, man. Right. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Now, continuing to Rock 24 and 27, mm -hmm. he says. He maketh the doctrine of knowledge appear as the light, mm -hmm. and as Gion in the time of vintage. Go ahead. Verse 28, the first man knew her not perfectly. Yeah, which that first man was Adam, which was Yahweh Shai. It tells you that 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, they speak about the first Adam and the second Adam. So when he says the first man knew her not perfectly, that was because Adam transgressed. He went off. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Come. It says, no more shall the last find her out. Yeah, that last is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And he, he <coughs> already grasped and fulfilled the knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures. Go ahead. Come. Verse, verse 29, it says, for her thoughts are no salakia. For her thoughts are more than the sea. Mm -hmm. And her counsel is profound, uh, and her counsel is profounder than the great deep. Go ahead. Verse 30, I also came out as a brook from a river. Yeah, so the truth started out small. It went from a brook 
to a river, right? Go ahead, brother. All right. He said, I also came out as a brook from a river and as a conduit into a garden. Yeah. You know, a conduit of water that's yeah. just feeding a garden. Okay? Who is the garden? The Israelites. So you should be able to see just by reading this scripture who's being, who has the water? Hmm. Who's juicy? <laughs> You know, who's dripping? Yeah. Like fish out of water. Man. <laughs> Come on, brother. Hey, through, the, through the spirit, through the spirit, who's dripping? Right. Where's the water at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The great millstone. That's what I may say. Because the scripture just said, conjure it. You know, when we put oils on ourselves and we anoint ourselves, the oil is a conduit. The faith is what brings it to pass and yep. brings it to light. Yep. All right? That's what brings it to light. Yep. So this, that scripture... That's right, brother. That's why this scripture in verse 30, this is a faith-based scripture right Yeah, now. yeah. That's a faith-based verse right This now. is actually happening right now That's when right. I walk. Verse, you want me to continue, brother? Absolutely. I want you to go all the way to the end, bro. Come on, brother. Verse 31, I said I will water my best garden. Yeah, so who is the best garden? All right, because <laughs> the Lord, the Lord got a garden. His garden is Israel. But then within that garden, he got another garden, oh, which is who? Right. <laughs> so he said he gonna water his best garden, and you starting to see what those spirits mm -hmm. of those men mm -hmm. that make up that number, the hopefully elect, are blossoming. Right. Okay, look at the amount of like I said, I just had to bring this brother up as as one of many examples. Hey, but but hey, but but it's just for, for yeah. truth's sake, yeah. you know, because the, the the brother go hard. Sometimes, hey, sometimes I do eight to ten videos a week. Mm -hmm. I might do three or four sit downs with just various brothers. Yeah, right. Hey, same thing, everybody, man. Yeah. Because the Lord is doing what? He's watering that garden. First and at the, the third yep. yep. And at the same time, we remain humble in our labor. Yeah. Okay? But at the same time, the Lord is putting that spirit on us because we're trying to do the right thing. So right. We're trying to teach the right thing. We're trying right. to go the right way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And because we're doing so, that water is just. It's just lit. Right. <laughs> this is a Sirach chapter. This is Sirach yeah, chapter three, ready. verse seventeen. My son, go on with thy business in meekness. Mm -hmm. So shall thou be beloved of him that is a fool. And that was an example. The brothers like, hey, speak about the apostles, but at the same time, mm -hmm. hey, if you're doing it, you're doing it, man. Because it's all about your At the end of the day, the glorification of your Yahweh Bashim A lot of a lot of you Israelites, man, you in the spirit of self glorification, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because I know you wasn't able to bring one out. This is John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah, so because that conduit is watering that best garden, you got other, you got other plants watering other other uh, uh, plants, man. You got brothers that's giving giving other brothers some of their water because they got enough. So they doing what? They just dispersing. They just dispersing that water, man. You know, yeah, that's the water. I'm distributing that water. You know, some brothers... Yep. Yep, like, like the brother said, it's an ecosystem, man. Okay? So let, but through process of elimination, who is, who is really just pushing out that spirit hardcore, man? Of just understanding who's doing videos on on prophecy, on wisdom, on on the Psalms. You got the uh, the elder Yatiza in Dallas. He do a proverb of the day. You know, hey, the spirit be on brothers to do Hebrew prayers. You know, the spirit be on brothers to do a exhort, holy exhortation videos. Okay, segments of just information. Okay, go ahead. I this is uh, Proverbs 10 and 21. The lips of the righteous feed many. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Read that again. <laughs> oh, man. Proverbs, ahead, brother. Proverbs 10 and 21. On, the lips of the righteous feed many. The lips of the righteous feed many. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell you in Hebrews, the 13th chapter, it says, let us send up a, a, a holy sacrifice with the, with the praise of our lips. Supplications. That's right, brother. <laughs> and because we, we bringing out this information, the Lord is doing what? He's blessing our lips. 
He's blessing our lips to be able to speak this word and help other brothers, man. Mm -hmm. You got you got IUIC. They'll do a two-hour class, really yelling at their congregation, man. Yeah. They be they be belittling you guys in their congregation, yeah. man. They don't be up. They don't be edifying you on on, on these breakdowns. They don't like to see both. They don't. Yeah. yeah. You know. You got your, your honey on the radio show. I bet that microphone stink. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Because he's a foul spirit. The microphone, the cotton on the microphone stink. Probably got brown particles all over it, man. He's a nasty nigga, man. You know? Because he ain't about uplifting the elect. Ain't nothing but a solid spirit, man. Yeah. He's because it's true. Yeah, I bet that microphone will actually carry on. Go ahead, bro. I'll finish it up. It says, Proverbs 10 21. It says, The lips of the righteous feed many. But fools die for want of wisdom. That's right. They say fools die for want of wisdom. You claim you want this wisdom, but remember, the scriptures say wisdom will try you out. It will take you down crooked paths. Mm -hmm. And because you don't, you, you, you want wisdom, you know, wisdom is wisdom is is to be acquired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want that wisdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nah, bro, you gotta walk the road. The wisdom mm -hmm. is given to you. You know, Jake be trying to goddamn a uh, 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 climb. Climb the mountain and go the scenic route, man. Not not considering, bro. That was a walk up trail, bro. Mm -hmm. Now you trying to go this route to impress everybody? It was a walk up trail right there. You could have just been cool. Now now your ass dangling off a cliff, crying for everybody else to help you, man. Just walk up the right way. You know the movies where the father, the old eighty movies where the father's hard headed. He don't want to take directions. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't travel three hours. <laughs> To get to a restaurant and shit, and the family didn't sit there and ate and had water and shit. What? We went this way. <laughs> <laughs> he like, what the fuck? You know, we're three hours out the way. Yeah. They've been there chilling, man. Yeah, it's like, what's your problem? You know, what is, what's your problem, man? We walk, we all went one way. You trying to go another way just so you can come here? I got here first. Sit down. Yeah, that's a, that's a you know, the prophecy, the doctrine is out here, man. It ain't no, it's not. It's not a, 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 a race against each other. You racing against your old man. That's right. Okay. They don't consider the master builders. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, go ahead, bro. It's a simplistic way of thinking. Yeah. Go ahead, this is, uh, work harder, not I mean, work smarter, not harder. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is uh, Sirach chapter 24 and 31 again. It says, I said, I will water my best garden. Which is the elect. Go ahead. And I will water abundantly my garden bed. Go ahead. And lo, my brook becometh a river. Uh huh. And my river becometh a a sea. And sea, when you read, sea. yeah, when you read Revelation, the yeah. book of Revelation, yeah. sea represents people. Mm -hmm. So that's how you know that the scriptures tell you in Jeremiah, the thirty-first chapter, the Lord said He will in in a great number, a great company, will He deliver Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So now that 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 river is about to turn into a sea. That's right. All right. So if you still in in a toss up on who got the truth and who don't got the truth, hey man, it's too late in the game, man. Mm -hmm. You you better get you better get it. You better get it together, man. That's right. Okay. That's right. Go ahead. Huh? Done. Verse 32. <laughs> Woo. Verse 32. I will set my, uh, I will set yet my doctrine to shine as the morning. Yeah. What is the, what does the word doctrine mean? Teachings. Mm -hmm. That's what doctrine means. He said he will make it to shine as the morning. So there's no excuses for you not to have the doctrine. You can't pull that we know in part and prophesy in part right to try to compromise the doctrine. No. The doctrine is expected for you to be to, to be understood. Period. He said he will pour out doctrine as what? Prophecy. That's what that's why the power is in the prophecy. And a lot of guys, they twisting up the prophecy and you limiting the power of your how we shall we think. That's right. Why would the Lord seal the books for a certain time to then wait to open the, the understanding up? Right, right. To then not give us the understanding. That's that. That's not the point. The point was when the, in the book of Revelation, when the seven seals was opened up, and the understanding went out. That's right. Come on, man. So why would the Lord, here it is, the, the, there was no man on the earth, under the earth, or in heaven, found worthy to open the book. Yep. But Yahweh Shai, he, Yahweh Shai spilled his own blood, sacrificed himself for us to what? Get the understanding. And then he held back. Sir. But, then, but then part of it was held back. It don't make sense. Come on now. Everything that was, that's made readily available is readily available. It ain't nothing in the oven. Right. 
you know how you set up a table and everybody, what a macaroni and cheese? Oh, it's there. Mm. It's come, no, it's here. The scriptures tell you to have a cook the second chapter, make it plain mm. upon the mm. tables. Mm. So the doctrine is just there. Go ahead, I mean, Super quick piece of it. Second Ezra chapter 14 and 45, and I'm going to read to the last verse. It says, And it came to pass when the 40 days were fulfilled that the highest spake, saying, the, uh, the first that thou hast written, published openly. Ooh, Ooh, do, that, do, read that again. Say come, that part come, again about push up. Uh, verse 45, and it shall come to pass when the 40 days were fulfilled that the highest spake, saying, the first that thou hast written, publicly, open, uh, publicly openly, Mm -hmm. Published yeah. openly, mm -hmm. okay, meaning it, it's supposed to be made available. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. That the worthy mm -hmm. and unworthy may read it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you got people out mm -hmm. here that's worthy and unworthy that has opened this cover mm -hmm. and read these scriptures. But only the ones that's predestined mm -hmm. for salvation is going to understand everything. That's right. Not par partial. The scriptures say do nothing by partiality. So when Paul wrote that in 1 Corinthians that we know in part and we prophesy in part, that ain't talking about the doctrine, the part that's made readily available. Right. That part is, like I said, I'm going to say it again, that part is required for you to understand. Right. Period. You're supposed to understand Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, right. Ruth, all the way to the, to the end. That's right. Period. That's why the scripture says you have not an answer to put your hand over your mouth right. and let the one, let those that are wise, the elders and the older men speak because they should have the answer. Yep. So if there's, if there's something that you don't know in part, then that's what you got to keep your mouth shut and learn. But it's there. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we can't. Here it is. We at the end. When, when are we gonna get it? In the kingdom, <laughs> right? To do what? To not teach nobody? That's right. when we just gonna get it all on that side to not teach nobody. Right. Yep. And Come that's on, it's, it's right now. The time to have it is right now. Bring it out, bro. Kind of, you know? And you know what? That's one thing that a lot of people look for in a flawed teacher. They wait for him to be like, well, I don't know that. Then they be like, ah, you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Whenever a teacher be like, that you ever you ever seen a teacher break down a problem or something wrong on the chalkboard, man, the whole class laughing to scorn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. They talk them talk and, and so that's why, you know, it's expected for that teacher to understand every aspect of the curriculum but at grade level right? because he's not he shouldn't be able to produce a, i don't know for that grade level so that's the same thing with the lord the lord and when it come down to certain things like dan if we say we don't know it's because you don't know either okay because it ain't written that's not a part of the, cu the curriculum right that ain't on this grade level okay that's like you asking a fourth grade teacher how to do um, trigonometry. trigonometry. Like, bro, I don't know how to do no trigonometry. She's <laughs> 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 basically at, at arithmetic. Yeah. 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 Come on, go ahead. Uh. Verse 46, but keep the second and last, that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people. Verse 47, mm -hmm. for in them is the spring of understanding. Ooh. The fountain of wisdom mm -hmm. and the stream of knowledge. Those are all. Yep. Yeah. Those are all uh, mm -hmm. analogies of water. That's right. Because mm -hmm. where there is water, there is what life. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. And because the Lord has watered abundantly His best garden, we speak in so much life. Mm -hmm. We we speak life even off the camera. We speak life to each other, man. Mm -hmm. To we let brothers know, hey, I, man, that was that was the video was beautiful, man. Ain't the water for for encouraging us in that manner. Hey, the water for stepping up in your leadership. The water for doing this, brother. Hey, man, you got the spirit, man. You're going hard, bro. And hey, keep fighting, man. We're praying for brothers. So the, 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 the water is so abundant that even off camera, we still watering. That's right. The word encouragement, a synonym mm. for that is uplift. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Even off camera, the water is just so abundant. Yes, even off camera, it's still dripping. It's like, it's like, it's, it, even in your sleep, like you still watering, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a bunch of uh, Aquaman. Yeah, it's, 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 yep. That's yeah. That movie was us. That's yeah. coming out. Yep. The Aquaman. Yep. Yeah. You have yeah. spiritual dreams, and you wake up out to, out to sleep, yelling the name of the Lord. That's right. Just watered. <laughs>
You know, and, and our children have more more water than a lot of these camps. <laughs> our children are, are have more drip than a lot of these grown men that claim to be teachers and prophets. Yeah, that's true. Our children. We yeah. were speaking before we got on camera. He was going into a dream that his son had. Powerful dream. Yeah, Joel right. the second child. You know, yeah. my 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 daughter. She's a two year old little girl. And whenever she see me watching the videos, she say she say, "Is that the shower one?" <laughs> and, uh, my daughter said the same thing too. She's like, you listening about your Howard shot? Yeah. Play your, she asked you, asked you to play videos. She, can you play your Howard shot videos? <laughs> yeah. Because they, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a war. It's, it, hey, our, our, the spirits of, of all of our people, they need the water, and we have it through the spirit. That's right. So that's why when they see it, they're just like, oh, wow. You know? But let's go ahead and, cl and, and finish it up, and we're going to go ahead and close it out. Yeah, two more verses. All right. Sirach chapter, or three more verses. Sirach chapter 24 and 32. I will yet make my uh, doctrine shine as the morning, and I will uh -huh. send forth the light afar off. Go ahead. Verse 33. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy. Ooh, so the teachings are the prophecies. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. That's why that's, that's where the power is at. Mm -hmm. The prophecy. Go ahead. And I'll and leave it. And do what? And leave, it and leave it, go ahead, to all ages, eons, eons, yep. forever. Forever. So these prophecies that we're teaching, mm -hmm. which is the doctrine, it's here to stay. Sure. It's not going back in, into, a, into a box and bottled up. It ain't going nowhere. It's here for, for everybody, man. Right. It's here for my sons. It's here for these brothers' sons. It's here for their women. It's here for their... This, this, these prophecies are here... For all ages, forever, man. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use the cop out of we know in part and we prophesy in part, it's because you ain't drinking from the right well. Okay? It's here. It's readily available. And you're going to find out real soon who the men of the Lord are. And I'll say this as I say this through humility that, hey, man, the men of, of Yahweh Bashim Shai are the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. On down. That's right, 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 okay. Right, right. Let's let's go ahead and knock out this last right. verse. We're gonna wrap it up. Verse thirty-four. Mm -hmm. It says, "Behold, that I have not learned Esalakia. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only. Go ahead. But for all them, for all them, go ahead. That seek wisdom. That's right. So Lord. to the brother YR and the other brother, if you seek wisdom, that's why we do these uh sit downs. Mm -hmm. But in return, mm -hmm. you need to listen. Okay. <laughs> In return, you, you should listen because we putting out a labor um, of love, you know, sincerely. And if you don't believe that 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 we the only ones that had the truth, well, just go find who you think got it, man. Yeah, young rebel. Yeah, man. Why are we still the young rebel, man? Yeah, man. Hey, look, man. Why are I'm gonna say this, man? If you if you skeptical, go go do do your own thing, man. Right. Don't look to try to steal our light. We've been doing this, man. Yeah. We're gonna come trying to tell brothers what is and what you ain't. Came to us. We didn't come yeah. to you. Go do you then, man. Just go do you. Man. Not, you know. if, if it's that hard for you to understand, if it's that hard for you to get, just go do you. We show them and right find now. out, man. We so with yeah. that, we're gonna go ahead and, 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 and wrap it up. Yeah, you know, giving all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Yahweh Kapodash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Break Millstone and peace and safety to the elect, the sincere men that's doing it the right way. That's right. Shalom. 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 Shalom.